Wag wag lids, before this amazing episode of Have A Word, we need to tell you about our patron, which is one of the best patrons in world comedy. We are officially the fastest growing Patreon on the planet at the minute. Yeah. Fastest growing Patreon, and that's because for just three quid, five quid, or ten quid a month, you get an extra episode a week, early access to these public episodes, and access to the entire back catalogue of all the Patreon stuff we've done in the past, which includes... The specials, the ghost hunts... The lockdown lock-ins, which are now fucking legendary. Some of the live shows, it's the best money you will ever spend. The roast event oh, is yeah. going on Patreon oh, yeah. early in March. You get to see that. You also get early access to my tour tickets, Dan's tour tickets, live show tickets. And to be honest with you, live show tickets don't really last very long on Patreon. So if you're not a patron, you're probably not being able to come to any of them that we've put on recently. You're only going to get to be there if you sign up at patreon.com slash have a weird pod and join the 10,000 strong army of fucking <laughs> lunatics. Megan. Wag Wag Leads, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below the belt men's grooming. Go, Ed, get on me. I do 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 with myself twice yesterday. I do 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 do. Hey, you you've got the energy of a man who was ejaculated. You you you're just a lot perkier today than you have been. Are you excited about your roast dinner? Oh my god, I cannot wait. With roasted carrots. Yeah. Oh, and broccoli. Yeah. Oh, oh mate. I, love I fucking love broccoli. Oh, it's going to be a lot of Believe firsts today. First time I've eaten broccoli. First time I've puked on your lap. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not not feeding, feeding, yeah. What? <laughs> sit on his lap. <laughs> if he's making me a roast, I want to be fed it. He's having sex with yourself. You, you've had like fucking bum hole legs and everything in Luban, and you're worried about a few roasties. <laughs> I thought you meant bum hole then. Oh, I'd love to. What? Eggs. What? <laughs> Adam's actually got roasted bum hole on here. <laughs> We're having roast potatoes. We're having pigs in blankets that I'm oh, making myself. My oh, They're yes. not like pre-made pigs in blankets. I'm making my own pigs and my own blankets. Right. Is there any honey involved? Uh, the carrots and the parsnips are both going to be honey glazed. Oh, oh, shove it up oh, your bollocks. Oh, yes. That's me out. Put it in my oh, urethra. Oh. You can have honey. You I'm can allergic. Oh, but he can't oh. have it anyway, can he? As a, I know it's vegan, isn't it, honey? Finn, I think I, I might know. be allergic to you. Oh, oh no. by the way, Finn, yeah. you asked me, should you get me some sort of veggie meat? Yeah. Um, which I tried to get when I went and got everything last night and nowhere I had any. So, um, oh, spud butties? Potatoes, yeah. No, Linda spud. McCartney sausages or something. What? Can we get Linda McCartney sausages? I'll go and find some in the break. Okay. An Adam roast dinner. Well, it's very kind of you. <laughs> Yeah. It better be fucking good, the amount of you. I'm fucking great, man. Roasty, roasty. Better be good. You're Have I notes. ever told you I'm good at something and then not being like world class? Driving. Ever? What? Driving. What are you talking about? I'm a fucking excellent driver. You weren't that good on that track day. I mean, you were better than I car. I broke the course record. No, I, just, I broke the car. I just read the times wrong. <laughs> uh, t table tennis. Yeah, I'll give you that. World class. <laughs> it's annoying. Bordering on Asian. <laughs> Is Asian above world class? They're the best of table tennis. No. It's on FIFA, isn't it? It can't be racist if it's positive. What, positive invasion. <laughs> what else are you the best at? Noodles. <laughs> they are. Driving. Oh, diving. They're the worst drivers. Are we talking J Chinese? It depends. All right, okay. Take your pick. Oh, I went for a curry last night talking about Asian. Two white guys working. Not for me. <laughs> Not for me. I think every curry house is allowed one token whitey. Yeah. One token whitey. They had two, and one of them was a condescending fucker. So whitey one came over and went, can I take your order, guys? There were, there were like, it's Coconut Grove in Chester. There were some, you know. Did the name not give it away? Oh, geez. <laughs> it sounds racist against whiteys, doesn't it? <gasps> Fucking hell, proper Coconut Grove in there. <laughs> Full of white. <laughs> How'd you like your curry? Honking. <laughs> um, I came over and I was like, because it's South Indian, they try, they're doing that thing of like, oh, we're not just an Indian restaurant. <laughs> we're South Indian. Like, you fucking know the difference. I was like, I, I, I went, I like a booner, like usually. 
a fucking booner. No, like an E.T. booner, the OG booner. And I was like, what's like that on the menu? And he was like, oh, I don't know. I was like, cool, can you, can I, can you ask? Whitey number two comes over and he's condescending. I was like, I really like a, a booner usually. Is any of these curries like that? He was like, yeah, we don't do booners because we're actually South Indian. I went, fuck off, mate. You're from fucking Queens Ferry. Kiss my ass. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, actually, I'm sat. Like, Fuck off. So just because he's educated on the food, that, that so he he's actually educated and qualified to work there, and that's what pissed you off because it made you feel insecure. What did you get? No, he's like, Fuck off. You're from around the fucking corner. I'm not having it. Oh yeah, I'm from D side. Let me condescend to you about South Indian cuisine. Piss off. There's one white fella who works in Big Bowl, the Chinese place, and the rest of them are Chinese. What? Honestly. I'm down for one token whitey. But he, he's also, like, he know he's lived in China. He speaks... Oh, yeah, yeah. Chinese. When I worked at Emilio's, the Italian Tangerine? restaurant in Mandarin. Preston... Tangerine, yeah. Tangerine. <laughs> speaks fluent Tangerine. Clementine. Oh, he's bitter. Um, <laughs> oh, no, he's sweet. Um, the, he I worked at Emilio's. They had a white lad, that, uh, another whitey, who worked there. How many dinners did you have yesterday? Who, who put... Um, <laughs> who put... <laughs> proper coconut grove in there. He put on an Italian accent when he was serving. It was it was phenomenal to watch. Was he Italian? No, he's from Preston. He talked like that. He's from proper Preston. But when he was serving, he's like, oh yes, this is a very good, uh, this is a lasagna. And then as soon Hang as he on. Whoa, the whoa, kitchen, whoa, 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 whoa. No. I think, I think what he did was he pronounced the dishes how they're meant to be pronounced and you've done that so I reckon he's probably going you're right Dan yeah, oh, you fucking what are you going to have you're going to have the prosciutto <laughs> that's what he's done isn't it no genuinely he served <laughs> I, in an Italian accent he did it all like oh no this is a good and then came back and went yeah they've ordered the fucking pizza like that that Lancashire that that's effort now what I would have liked from both those whitey last night is that level of effort <laughs> That would have really improved my coconut groving. We don't groving. sell bona. No, no, we don't have South Indian cuisine. Where are you from? Mm, Queens Ferry. <laughs> Randy Corner. That would have been great. That was Italian again? Randy, Randy, Randy Corner. That would be really funny if two white fellas from Queens Ferry worked in an Indian restaurant put Italian accents on. You will. Excuse me. Excuse me. We don't have the table for very long. You can have it for an hour. <laughs> an hour. <laughs> You know they get very Italians get very excited towards the end of a negative sentence, don't they? When they're telling you bad news, like they get they, like they p fucking ramp it up. I mean, <laughs> uh, how could I disagree with you? It's a well-known fact that the you end of sad news. You're, I'm sorry to tell you about your nana. She has <laughs> passed away. <laughs> your nana is a dead. <laughs> <laughs> passed away. Oh, uh, <laughs> good name you know for what? a pizza place in an alleyway. Yeah, passed away. No, they also had a. <laughs> The funeral director's at the back. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, oh you're missing your nana. She died in a car crash. <laughs> but have a linguine. <laughs> An Italian undertaker's called passed away needs to exist. I'm going to make a little New Year's resolution to be more accepting to some of your jokes. And I think that was very good. <coughs> good at. I've got my New Year's resolutions. Good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Are you ready? Are we doing it on the uh, on the New Year's episode? Everyone's too excited about the Deadpool. We're dying to pick dead people that have yeah. that are gonna die. We, can't, we can't pick, pick no living people. We can't pick them now because what if they die between now and New Year? Oh, it's right. gotta be done on the theater. Hell is a banker. Oh, imagine the families find it out. <laughs> <laughs> you died at Christmas. <laughs> You're dead on the stuff. <laughs> have you genuinely got any New Year's resolutions apart from laughing at his jokes? Thank you. Um I'm uh, yeah, I to use more double-ended dildos. Have you got any? No, oh, I mean I don't. I'm not going to just go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I do. Just recently, <laughs> I've been. Oh, I, well, I've Stay been sucked thinking. sucked after the night. What? About ten minutes after we got it, and he sat on it. What? He put it up his ass and then sucked it. Is this a used double-ended dildo? It has been used. It's not well, new, is it? Ru ru what is it not? It didn't come in the box. Did it done? It's it being in a box, if you know what I mean. Do you think all double-ended dildos come in boxes? Those real cocks. They come in a wrapper. Uh, that was filed in Barber. What? Yeah, that's from Barber. I thought it was given to... It was. Oh, so right. one of our quiz the other day was you had to bring back a sex toy for £200. And you found that in Barber. 
We bought that for 200 quid. Just listen to the weight of this. Oh, fucking hell. That's mine. Two of them is one of Adam's. <laughs> um, New Year's resolutions, what have you got? I want to do whatever it takes to have a healthier body and mind. Right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that every Monday morning for you? Like, you wake up. It was different at the start of the year, isn't it? Right, yeah. Yeah. It I want to tell. I want, I want more knowledge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 More knowledge. Yeah. Uh, I more don't want to get out of breath as easily. Right. Second one's quite sad. <laughs> more knowledge, you know, less breathing difficulty. I've got a fuck. <laughs> a library card and a fucking inhaler. January's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want to be. I'm not setting myself a specific target. I want to be fitter and healthier in in the mind. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you write something in an envelope, lock it away, and then at the end of the year, go when I open an envelope, it'll be true. Oh yeah, he'll definitely find that envelope. <laughs> <laughs> I want more knowledge to where that fucking envelope's gone. <laughs> Some Romanian cleaner has fucking moved that. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, what are, your, what are your New Year's resis? Uh, Resos, mate. I also want to tighten me belt. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> tighten Adam's, I think it was tighten Adam's belt, was mine. I don't mean like lose weight. I mean I want to. I want to be more um, frugal with me finances. Let me just get that double. <laughs> and I'll just get the bullshit belt. No, let me hit it. If you say silly things, I'm allowed. Oh, no, I do. I, because I want to buy a house next year. I don't not believe that, but I don't believe how you're going to get there. Ready? Oh, that's a good power power <laughs> hit. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be more frugal. I'm gonna eat in the house more. Stop eating out as much. Yeah. I'm gonna start bringing packed lunches to work. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm gonna break my eat, dildo. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> sandwiches. You're gonna make sandwiches at home. Yeah. And bring them into work. Yes. Cost effective. Uh, no, it yeah. isn't because you'll throw loaves away four times a week. No, not if I'm making butties twice a week. No, because you won't do it. But I will. I actually threw four loaves away in one go the other day. It, exactly. It's not next year, yeah, Carl. Fucking hell. Imagine the amount of ducks you could have fed with that. You're not meant to feed ducks with bread. Yeah, they explode. We've told you that. They what? don't explode, but they get really sad and sick. Bloated. Yeah. What? Bloated they're ducks. Keto ducks. Yeah. They're not. They're off carbs, are they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, ducks, but ducks genuinely, fuck off they then. bloat and then they look at themselves in the water and they're like, oh, I'm a big fat twat and they feel sad. Yeah, they kill themselves. Sad ducks. Yeah. Sad fat ducks. Fat duck fuck. Fuck. I fat fuck duck. I'm, I'm a bread, <laughs> bread for ducks and I'll never change. What, you meant to th throw them? Kale? No. What? Cherry drops? Shut up. <laughs> what you mean? What? It was on Vets at... What was it called? Vets at Home. It was on Vets at Home. Did you never watch Vets at Home? Yeah, Vets at Home. What was they it do called? a lot of their like <laughs> consultations over Zoom. That's my goat. It's fucked. I can't remember what it was called. What was the TV programme with Ralph Harris and all the animals died? <laughs> animal, <laughs> animal, animal Hospital. It was on there. You went to feed them cherry drops. I don't think we should be giving any publicity to convicted paedophiles. Supposed to feed ducks. <laughs> oats. It's and rice and cherry drops and frozen peas and cherry drops frozen, frozen peas. peas no rice <laughs> and pea where are these ducks <laughs> South India <laughs> D side my New Year's resolution is to get better MPG in my car right it's, cur it's currently 14 <laughs> <laughs> you picked the wrong damn car for MPG bro 14 I saw it and it made me sick <laughs> like I, I had to turn it off the screen. mine's 92 19 in a Range Rover yeah <laughs> When are you going electric? When performance cars do them cheaper. Because if you want a performance car that's electric, no, it's so expensive. Isn't there a Tesla that's pretty nifty? I don't want a Tesla. No? no. Why? I don't know. It's just I want like basic bitch car, I think. Do you think? I think it's one yeah. up from basic bitch car. No, I think it's the future for your 500. All right. <laughs> I don't... Uh, honestly, I'll be so behind on electric cars. I can tell. I'm just, I just don't. I'm going to get like less efficient cars as everyone goes electric. I'm going to try and offset it and keep the planet fucked. The I think we, you know, <laughs> Adam make... turning up in a tractor. No, knowledge. We're going to get like a Hummer. <laughs> I'd love a Hummer so much, you know. You know, all of the news resolutions, yeah. this one feels more believable. <laughs> but yeah. I want to be frugal and get a Hummer. I want a healthier mind next year. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Gonna go to therapy. 
Is it? Yeah, I'm going to go to therapy. Yeah, yeah vets at home. <laughs> no. Got yeah, there's worms. 11 Hummers and also trade here. <laughs> Let's have a look at Hummers. Um, no cards found in L1. Sorry, lad. Finn's going to try and fix oh, it. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're not willing to travel <laughs> to find a Hummer, you lazy cunts. Finn's going to fix it. Right, let's have a look. 11, oh, here we go. 49 grand. That top one. I want that. That's a proper GTA. It's a 1991 though. H2 Humvee, 6.2 litre V8 diesel. Oh, at least it's diesel. <laughs> can you can you go on it and check its MPG, please? Because <laughs> it will be less. Oh, oh my, imagine me turning up here and that. It's an automatic. You walk. <laughs> go to running costs. Down. There you go. Running It won't even feature it. Oh, yeah. Oh my god! Is that four hundred and twelve miles per gallon? Four hundred and twelve <laughs> grams of carbon dioxide per kilometer. It probably kills a barnyard animal every four <laughs> yards. <laughs> Especially if you drive into a barnyard. <laughs> I would love to see you drive a Hummer. It's one of the worst cars you can possibly buy. Why? This one. It's a poo car. Yeah. I had poo cars don't cost forty nine grand. Fact. <laughs> It's a basic slag car, isn't it? Um, you could also do, if you get quiet on weekends, we don't know what's happening with comedy. You know, things could go bad. I know you're doing well now. You never know. You could also do, like, Hindus in them. Oh, I'd love it. You'd be great. You'd be a great Hindu chauffeur. Hindu. They sound similar. <laughs> Repeat that for 20 years. <laughs> oh, you bitch. <laughs> um, I'm wearing a Christmas hat. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Fifteen everyone. Fifteen minutes in, no one's. What does it say? What's it say, Annie? I really can't read it from here. Slay all, slay day. all day, slay oh, all you day. Big slag. Can I just tell you where I got it? Ann Summers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you get it from Ann Summers? I couldn't find a Christmas hat. I really wanted to wear a Christmas hat today. I went to Home and Bargains in Birkenhead, like. I thought Home and Bargains was an absolute fucking slam dunk for a Christmas hat. It's got recognised by one of the lads at work here. What did you call it? I call, I did the Scouse version. Nearly. Home and Bargain. There you go. Oh, it's not Home and Bargain. It's, so it's Home Bargains. The company's called Home Bargains. But it used to be called Home and Bargain. But if you're a fucking Scouse, it's Home and Bargain. There was a team in my league when I was a kid called Home and Bargain. And um, they've sold out. So I was gutted. I really wanted to wear the Christmas hat along with my Saints uh, Christmas jumper. And uh, I saw I saw one on the uh, mannequins in um, Ann Summers. So this is an Ann Summers Santa hat. Did you get anything else while you were in there? Yeah. Anything for you in there? Uh... Yeah. The no. blender black dildo. Did you get anything else though? Um, what's the chat with Ann Summers? I think it's a bit cheap in it. Love Honey's the one. Right. But Victoria's Secret is like actually quite... For, for for underwear, Victoria's yeah. Secret doesn't sell dildos though. No. I think Victoria's Se- it Secret. Doesn't. It does. It smells spanking paddles. No. I know. I bought one. <laughs> smells. It smells like she spanking smells, paddles. She smells. I, no, I but can, I can predominantly smell an underwear and a uh, pajama store. Yeah, but I there's think. also I think there's a I think there's a little kink area. I bought a spanking paddle from Victoria's Secret. Two thousand seven, two thousand eight. I don't think they do that anymore. I think it's just clothes. Yeah, yeah. You and summers is where you go for your, uh, you know, for your handcuffs and your, your rope, ne- your negligee. Yeah. Yeah, your, your pussy pound of four thousands. No. The pussy pound of four thousand. It's five. It's five thousand though. Things have changed. Bigger, bigger water. I think handsome is it. I, if I honestly, <coughs> if I brought something sexy back for Laura, it would get such short shrift. Why? She's it, she's just not. Off the little pocket pussy. <laughs> <coughs> What's the bullet one? It's a, bullet, a bullet. 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 They're great. Yeah, things you can make women do with them. Really, like a wand. No. He said right. to shoot them. Go and do the fucking dishes. <laughs> or I will vibrate the shit out of your clit. Oh, that's not a nice turn of phrase. <laughs> if I got a bullet, I'd just take it home and shove it up my arse. Do, right do, you know, do you know people have died doing that? What? Like, men have died for having bullets up their ass. Taking a bullet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> men have died because of the bullets. Have that was got- the First World War. Just a load of fucking... Ask you can play. Google this in a minute. Let me tell you the story, right? Oh, no. There's not- definitely at least one fella who died because he either... <laughs> what? In my head. Is it, does it involve his arse swallowing the bullet and it travelling 
Yeah. Oh, God. So the bullet was still on, and it vibrates like a fucker, these things, do you know what I mean? Off it goes. And it it, it sort of just climbed up his arsehole and into <laughs> his intestines, and, like, just destroyed him from the inside out. Yeah, I've heard of that. It was in the echo. The fuck was this a V8 diesel Hummer? <laughs> <laughs> bullet? What? It's just a little electric thing. Honestly, like, they vibrate like fuck, and, like, that's all right if it's just on your clit or on your balls, but once it's in your arsehole, damage can be done. Have you had a, have you had a bullet on your balls? On your bollocks? Oh no! Yeah. What in between? Or do you have to? Like, like how many do... gooch in there? Oh, uh, gooch plays all right. <laughs> yeah, gooch. And, like gooch I don't like my balls being sucked, but I no, like them being kissed and licked suck. and you know and vibrated. What you, What do you say? Women should do with bollocks? Like they shouldn't like go mad with oh, them. Oh, just take the weight off them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've had a hard day at work, babe. <laughs> Let me take the weight of these. No, but that's <laughs> what you want with your balls, isn't it? Do you like your balls being sucked? No. Don't no suck one. my bollocks. No one likes the but a ball. I... Should never disappear into a mouth. No. I, um, no, they should be kissed and caressed. I like them being licked. Yeah, licked's fine, but and tickled. Sucking. Tickled? What yeah. about consumed? No. No, 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 no. Do you know what's weird about tickling my balls? Like Steve Royal <laughs> at a Christmas gig. <laughs> oh, no. Do you know what's weird about tickling my balls? Do you know what it is? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> If I'm like <laughs> awake, like wide awake, <laughs> it proper turns me on. Hang on. <laughs> Who's tickled your balls when you're asleep? Let me finish. Ah, you need to see a therapist. You've been abused. I don't think it's abuse if you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you sleep. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Um, if I'm like sort of wide awake, it'll turn me on if you tickle me balls. But you know, if I'm nodding off, it proper sends me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like if I'm, if I'm sleepy and you tickle me balls. Yeah. I'll just, I'll, I'm gone. Oh, yeah, and it ruins yeah. the flight. <laughs> you can tickle your bollocks to sleep. <laughs> you can tickle my bollocks to sleep, yeah. <laughs> Who's doing that? <laughs> You're such a silly girl. <laughs> Why? He's telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. He wouldn't sleep once in Cardiff after the Babe, I've got... <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> what goes on in Wales stays in Wales. Carla I'm can't sleep. sleep. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Call me, yeah. Call me. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> I like a light. Yeah, if you put like really quiet music on and tickle my balls, I'm out like a light. Thanks. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know, everyone. Quiet glad that, music. Glad that we did it on a public episode. Any music, just quiet. I like going to sleep to country music. Oh my <laughs> God. I'd rather just tickle your balls without music. <laughs> you, she tickled my balls and I fell asleep in her arms. There's a playlist on there. Uh, YouTube has created me a country music playlist because it's like... Oh, my God. We that- share that. Put it in the group, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tickle my balls just before you start playing it. Um, so I just put that on, like, really low, and it sends me off. Yeah, can you tickle your own balls? Like- <laughs> no, because then... You can't tickle yourself. You can only tickle the top of your balls. No, but you can tickle yourself as in, like... No, you can't. Make it feel nice. No, you can't. That feels lovely on my arm. Yeah, but it doesn't feel as good as someone else doing it. No, but it still does... I mean, it's halfway there, do you know what I mean? <sighs> Ever tickle the roof of your mouth or your tongue? Isn't that just like itching? Yeah. No. Makes it. I don't like it. Like, that feels lovely. And tickle his arm, it'll feel better. No, it won't. It'll give me the creeps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't give Shame. me the creeps. Shame. God, I was gutted then. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely gutted. Is it just me that thinks the woman that works at Ann Summers on the counter is dirty? I just, I got in there, I was like, I'm having this hat. I got recognised in Ann Summers a while back. But do you, do you, in, the, in your head, like, if you work at Ann Summers, you're up for it. Is that just like a 16? No, you just know what a dildo is. Yeah. Cool. If you go to the woman in Superdrug and be like, what's a dildo? She's like, how would I know? I work in Superdrug. <laughs> no idea. No paracetamol is. <laughs> you go to the woman at Ann Summers, you know what a dildo is. She's like, yeah. <laughs> she test drives she was, she was cute. That's what I'm saying. The woman in the MLS yesterday had bra fitter. On a um, badge. On a bra. It just made me think like she just grabs tits. That's not how you fit bras, is it? Yeah, you have to grab them. See how big they are. No, I think they use a tape measure. I don't think they just go, right, get them out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, you know? oh, 36, double D. So anyone can do that thing, can't they? I could be a bra fit with a fucking tape measure. I thought you shot out like the skills. No, if you go into a Marks and Spencer's, <laughs> you thought they had a gift. Yeah, yeah. you got the gift. You could you could wait it for the rest of your life. Yeah. Just take the weight of them. <laughs> you go one upper size, Maureen. 
<laughs> yeah, you can't be a bra fitter with a tape measure. You're just a sex offender in, oh, in wait, Marks No suspension. one's going to get a bra fitter by me. Do you feel self-conscious in Ann Summers or sex toy shops in general? Well, it's it's been a long time that I've been in a straight sex shop. But you're always in the gay ones. Yeah, he is, uh, famously. Uh, I've been in them more than... than I've been in Ann Summers maybe twice in my life. I think that was one of them. I used to, years ago, Clones get really self-conscious in there. Like, I felt like all the women were looking at me like... Dirty bastard. Even the ones who work there. It's like filthy cunt. It's changed now, isn't it? Like hey. it's so much more accepted now. Yeah. Well, there was a guy at the when I was getting the hat, there was a a a, a, a rail of discounted because it's too close to Christmas the design. And he was just stood there just weighing up a, a sexy a yeah, sexy. Yeah, I, I don't I'm, I've got no shame stuff. anymore. But I do feel like, you know, some people are like worried in there and like they don't know that I feel comfortable. And earlier this year I went in, I was in the toy section having a browse looking for <laughs> Looking for a wazza, my, niece, I mean? my niece's birthday present. <laughs> Wrong toy. Ruined the birthday. Um, and then I got one and took it to the tail. And then someone, one of the other members of staff, came over and was like, I "Just want to let you know, I didn't want to bother you while you were looking at the toys because you know, uh, but I love all your podcasts and stuff. I'll give you friends and family on on dildos. Yeah, thirty percent off. Yeah, she actually did give me discount. Really? And yeah. ten. Wow. Yeah. That no, I don't. I don't. I, th- I just. I could, when I was younger, that kind of thing was like, <laughs> now I couldn't give a shit. Yeah. I just can't made it hard to get saved when you were like, I'm <laughs> 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 back again. <laughs> Do you sell tits? <laughs> We'd have done that. 29. <laughs> <laughs> no, is it, when you're younger, you get a bit like, right, it's fucking out some of shit. No, I don't know. I don't shit. Do you feel emasculated at all using sex toys with women? What? Like when women are like, I want to get some toys involved. And they just whip one out. Does that make you feel inadequate as a man? That your cock's not enough? I'm, I'm into all apparatus. Get yeah. it out. Let's get a... No, I, it's been a long It's been a long time. But some men feel like weak. If, like they feel not good enough if women feel like they need toys as well as penis. <laughs> penis. <laughs> no, I've not... I, the, in, when it's happened in the past, I'm like, yeah, let's, let's fuck around. But I, I've never got... Is, am I not enough? I know, happens, I know I'm not. What happens if they whip a dildo out and you're sure it's a mould of Edex's cock? Right. Yeah, you recognise the vein from the pictures. Like, oh my God. Is that Mark's dick? <laughs> well, you wouldn't say it, would you? Because oh, it would be the mood, But you'd be sorry. like... How would you? How, <laughs> what, how would you know what their ex's dicks look like? Photographs from when they were on Aldi. You, had, you went through their phone once and he was dressed in it on the cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they split up. Yeah. No, I, yeah, that and that might be a bridge too far. Would you stop it? Even though it's on his cock? Oh, I think once you split up with someone, if you've got a mould of their dick in dildo form, I think respectfully, <laughs> if you split up with the man, you split up with a sex toy and you need to just <laughs> send it out to sea. Yeah, Flip I it. think any sex toys used in a relationship are retired the second the relationship's over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or certainly the second the new one starts. Oh, you can't upcycle a cock ring. No. Fact. Yeah, you can't, like, I. you just can't, like, you just can't, I know, it's, you just can't. No. But what if, like, you you suspect, that she's like, yeah, it's new, bought it the other day. Do you know why she's winking at you? <laughs> <laughs> that make me suspicious. <laughs> what are you winking for? I'm not. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's just new. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. <laughs> I bought it was smaller than yours as well. Ah, yes. I'd have it on the fucking mantelpiece. <laughs> Where are you putting that away? Let's keep that out. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Next to the family photo. Have you ever used sex toys solo? Uh, what, like a vibrating vagine? Yeah. Like, there's the a thing fuck? being advertised on TikTok at the minute, which is a finger massager. What? It's like a... It, it's a swirl and vibrating thing, and there's. Oh there's tra- yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it. It looks like a really fancy black pepper grinder. Yeah, but it's yeah. definitely for willies. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called. It's, it's, it's not for dinner. No, it's, like not for, a, it's not for pasta. It's called a finger massager, and oh. it's so obviously like purpose oh. made for the penis. No, the brand have is. Have you forgotten how to say the word penis? <laughs> it penis. I keep lo- I keep asking my brain for other words for penis, and it's just not giving me. Kiak. But so it's actually branded as a finger massager. Yeah, it's none of these, which is on well, like a pencil sharpener. Like a churio. 
Chorio. Can we get one on the on the company card? Twelve Chorios. It see it's none of them. Fucking hell, mate. Look at that. Looks like a Google Home. Finn, you've actually found a finger massager. That's actually training for the Olympics for the finding the remote down the back of the couch. Oh event. yeah. That famous event. You know it. You yeah, it's it. none of them. None of them. I don't think I'd ever use like a pocket pussy. <laughs> um Yeah, I'd give it a go. I'd give it a go. I'd give I'd give it a go, but He'd I'd be asleep within a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I just I think putting it like finishing with it and then just going. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's going to have to be hidden though, because the cleaners do not like moving my lube, so they're not going to be happy about moving my finger beside you. Away it goes, Dan's little filth draw. I'd, 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 I'd give it a try. Just well, to... have you used toys solo? You ever just like put a cock ring on and just like watched cash in the attic? Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I did. How did you know? Old cock ring and cash in the attic. God, if I watch Cash in the Attic without a cock ring, I'm like, I'm not maximising the enjoyment of Cash in the Attic. Wonder what they'll find. Cash in the Attic could be a porno as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sorry, <and> Pat Cash. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the attic. Hang on, is that Pat Cash in the attic? I was thinking, like, your attic's your asshole, and you got money in your asshole. Got a good asshole. Oh Put Cash God. in the Attic. Know what I mean? No. <laughs> You know what I mean? Pat Cash is in my arse. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say this now. I'll give it a go just to report back on it on the pod. I, I, I find myself doing things. Like when I saw the Christmas hat, I was like, yeah, it's probably not ideal. I could I could have had a look for a Santa's hat in other places. But then you're like, yeah, it's, we do a podcast, don't we? So it's fine. I'm going in. I like and it. if something had happened, I'd have got to report on it. I feel the same about the finger massager. I'd give it a go. Yeah. But... It looks wet and wild, like. <laughs> wow. Like, it's a big... You've seen it, Steve, haven't you? I think Adam's trying you to did, sell them. Didn't you show me it? Yeah. Steve was using one. He was like, have a look at it. be for your fingers. But, like, it's... It, it looks like... It, it's got, like, the... Um, the consistency of, like... It looks like it's got fairly liquid in it, doesn't it? Like, there's a lot of bubbles going on, and... It, it's, it's very... It looks like it's going to... Not only like it'll polish your knob as well as making the <laughs> Polish knob? It's a cock polisher. <laughs> Don't get that for your nephew though, if you ask for a rock polisher. Lads, I know we're doing Christmas presents today. I'd be really chuffed if someone whips out a cock polisher. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to it and I'll tell you right now, there's absolutely no chance that'll get re-given at Christmas. Oh. Re-gifting is a disgrace. Yeah, re-gifting is smart, isn't it? It's a disgrace. Oh, it's a Depends great idea. what it is. Like, if someone gives me a rock polisher, it's going to someone else. I, I'm telling I you right now, rocks. if I've got you stuff today and you're like, yeah, it's a nice gesture, it's fine, but I don't mind a regift. I don't mind it. I it's, hope you haven't given fine. us anything regiftable. Yeah, you better have fucking nailed it because I have. I have as well. Yeah. All right, okay. You've got a lovely rock polisher. <laughs> I've got a personalized ball tickler. If you night, don't night. use everything I've got you every day for the rest of your life, I'll be very disappointed. Cool. Well, I hope it's a cock polisher. <laughs> you could say that. Merry Christmas, everyone. <coughs> Anything's a cock polisher if you want it enough. <coughs> Sandpaper. Yeah. Pogo stick. Oh, my God. Hmm? Polish your cock with a pogo stick. What a song. <laughs> Finn's face. <laughs> this has been... An incredible <laughs> section for bullshit this week. <coughs> Been great. Finn's here, by the way. Yeah, I am. I'm just an observer this week. Finn, are you um, <laughs> you never the rock polisher? I, I, are you, I, I wanted to. I've are you polishing tiny dicks? We wanted to bring this up. There's a lot of comments on this. I wouldn't come to work, Stone. You have no. Well, you have no. Nope. Last half you an hour. Have last when? half an hour. Yesterday, you potted off your twat. <laughs> last half an hour, you've given off the vibe of a man who's. Absolutely. Sleep would deprived. You, would you not come in stone now? No. Why? Well, I, I drive it. I drive it. It's not, it's, it's not illegal to, to pot and drive, though, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> Playing oh, snooking and uh, golf. Adam La. <laughs> I'll fucking represent you in court. He was potted off his tit. There's no law against <laughs> that. What about this one? Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, if this had been next year, I would have had the knowledge to deal with this. <laughs> no. It's illegal to be potted, but potted and driving is not a, an offence on its own. 
Drug I driving think. isn't an offence. Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. Nope. It absolutely is. You're yeah. under the influence. No, under the influence of alcohol. No, you can get drug done for drug driving. Drug driving isn't a thing. It it hundred percent is. Not in the UK. Right, cool. It, so, Google it. it DUI. It hundred percent is. In the States, of course. Just everyone, if you're thinking about getting potted and driving through the Mersey Tunnel, please oh, that be careful because Adam is not a QC. Let's have a look. A minimum of one year driving ban. Unlimited fine up to six months in prison. Okay, cool. So for that's on drugs? the government.uk oh, website. For drugs? drugs and driving. They, they must have changed it. They must oh, have changed back it. Back in the 80s? <laughs> <laughs> ah, God, I was talking about the 1870s. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, cannabis and cannabis cocaine. Cannabis and cocaine. Okay. You got that's new that. Together, then? Do that's them new, separately? That's new that. Yeah, it was yesterday. <laughs> it was the big uh, drug thing. No, there's a loophole there. Cannabis and cocaine. Yeah. There's no comma. Right, so you have to have done both. The Oxford comma. We'll get you out of anything. So it's nothing about smack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get smacked up and drive. Have you seen the adverts? They've put a lot of money into them. The hedgehog one? Yeah. yeah. Don't do skag and drive. Just the hedgehog absolutely balanced in the car. The amount of people, the amount of smackheads I see on the fucking M56. It's a nightmare. I've seen people do balloons and drive at yeah, the same time. I've seen that. That's terrifying. There's no law against that. I don't see that. It's just, it's insane. So don't do smack and drive is what we came here to say today. Can you do poppers and drive? <laughs> That's just the same as not like putting your heated seats on, isn't it? Just I've, gives you a warm arsehole for a bit. <laughs> a bit no, it doesn't. A bit of basil. I mean, I don't know with poppers because it's essentially just like sniffing Sharpies, isn't it? It puts your head you in the microwave for 30 seconds. You can buy them in a shop. But it gives you a warm arsehole. I don't know what you're doing. I think you're just having a poo afterwards. Poppers just make your head like a microwave for 30 oh, seconds. Oh, it makes your bum all warm. And it, and it gapes it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> So tell me about your sex toy experiences. <laughs> Something bit of gaping. <laughs> what do you think the police are going to pull you over and pull your kex down and go, ah, you're on the poppers, get in the van. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Feel that? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> he's wearing glasses, start steaming up, get in the van. Your asshole is broke. <laughs> he broke. He broke down in the fucking cold weather, rang the AA and asked for poppers. <laughs> <laughs> you do not need a gaping asshole, do you, with your condition? That's the last thing you need. Fact. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope this sponsor is a cock polisher or poppers. <laughs> What's happening, everyone? It's time to tell you about our sponsor, Manscaped.com, who are now available in all Tesco retail stores all over Ireland. So if you're from the Emerald Isle and your balls need a bit of a waz, get down to Tesco, buy yourself a Manscaped, or, or... Go to manscaped.com and use the promo code WEIRD20. What can they get from Manscaped, Dan? They can get loads of different stuff. They can get this. It's ball deodorant. <laughs> the pair of knickers. And under, they call them underpants. They're great. Look at this crop preserver because you've got smelly pubes. Cut them down. You'll have less. Then rub this on them. They'll smell better. When I was in Dundalk, I'll tell you this. This is a personal thing. All of the pubes I saw on the men in Dundalk yeah. were hairy. Too many. <laughs> I remember thinking when I was in Dundalk on my tour of Ireland, I was like, these, these lads need a shave. And now they can because they're available at all Tesco Island retail stores. Listen, there's also the Weed Whacker. This is like a nose and ear trimmer. Uh, this is the Performance Package 4.0. You get a couple of free gifts with it as well. You get the boxies. There's the ball deodorants, the crop preserver. These are our longest going sponsors. They're our favourites and they're great. It is the best immense below the belt grooming available now in Ireland at all the Tesco in Ireland retail stores and at manscaped.com. If you use the promo code WEIRD, 20 you get free shipping worldwide and 20 percent off island that's our, wide that's our gift to you because we're sound God, christmas is coming don't talk. your cock is getting hairy dublin. shave it off kill kenny and find yourself a mary galway cork dublin and dundalk got some questions from listeners have you yeah 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 questions that's a good new feature I just thought we'd uh, interact with them a little bit, see what they want to see what they want to know. Cool. What's up? Yeah, just change it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. If you want priority on the questions, sign up at patreoncom slash pod because patrons get priority. Tay -tay. Speed round. Oh yes. Adam Bertrau. Bertrand. Try and say that um, surname. Bertraui. Adam Bertraui. <laughs> 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 Unless it, uh, it's an Italian person and Adam's killed someone. It's Adam Betraui. Um All right, Lids, got a quick question. Um, 
uh, back in your here days, you were thinking about, no, it wasn't our heydays. These are our heydays. Back in the day, you were thinking about bringing on Sophie Anderson, the porn star. And I was gutted when it fell through. Any plans to get another porn star on the couch or get Sophie back? Cheers, Lids, from Adam Bertraui. Good luck with the last name as well. Um, I I would love to get a porn star on the couch, but I think I would spend the entire time being a perv in my head. And I don't think I'd be able to turn it off. Right. Right. Okay. Because I love sex. And I love sex. I wish it'd sell it about a pound. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, if there was a really attractive porn star there, I just think I'd be like... You know, I'd... Sophie Anderson isn't attractive. There's no, been, there's been very anymore. attractive ladies on the couch, though, and you're able to... Name them. Turn name it off. Them. <laughs> easy. All of easy. them. Every lady we've yeah. had. Uh, name them. No, hang on. Surely, if they just come on and they're sound... Yeah, okay, they're a sex worker. They do porn. But I'm sure they're just going to be fun. To be fair, the Dead Men Talking episode, the clips I saw of yeah, the they're, they're there, that was wonderful. Grateful. But I like I can't turn it off. I think it was the same with the work, uh, person working at the counter at um, Ann Summers. I was like, <laughs> we all have this it. Girl. We all do the sex. Um, I I think you'd be able to detach. They'd be sound. I'd love to hear the stories. I think it's about finding the right porn star. I'm not uh, Sophie Anderson. Seems fun. But she also seems a bit batshit. Her stories are harrowing as well. Um, They're not funny. No? No. She's quite entertaining though, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she seems a lovely woman, but her stories are like, ha ha. They're like, oh. That, that's because that's she was on James English, wasn't she? Yeah, that's so that was, That's heavy, isn't it? Right, okay. I think we're a bit more lighthearted. Yeah. I'm not against it at all. And I, you know, and Adam's a pro, really. He's saying well, this. Well, if you I'll, I'll get in touch with some porn stars. Okay, put the feelers out. I'll do it. Speed round. I'll get in touch with some porn stars for us. Tom Barclay says, hi, Lids. They willing used to, to do the leg work. It's a good lad. Willing to fall on me sword, which will be there. <laughs> Penis. Tom Penis. Barclay. Respect the speed round, guys. Tom uh, Barclay says, hi, Lids. There used to be a football club in France called uh, Paris Foot Gay, a lower league football team for LGBTQA ah, MFI players. <laughs> If you could force a specific demographic of society to form a club in the Vanarama National League, what societal group would it be? That's from Tom Barclay. I will answer that question in a minute when you answer this one. What do the letters MFI stand for in that acronym? Go. Uh, <laughs> Mary's, Freddy's and Inuit. Mary's, um, <laughs> Freddy's and Inuit. Yeah. LGBTQ. Uh, male, female, plus. and in between. Wow, I've forgotten the fucking acronym. Anyway. Um... Uh, which specific demographical uh, demographic of society would you form a club in the Vanarama National League? I'd Agrophobics. Say... Eh? <laughs> it's a bloody 3 0 win for the team, everybody. <laughs> <down like that. laughs> Hope you're playing indoors. Um, I go Karen's. I'd love to see it. Oh, oh, FC nice. Karen. FC Karen. That's definitely a team, like Switzerland. Why are we doing work for them? Surely, like, the, the reason for the gay, cl- the gay club? The gay club? Gay club. Paddy, was to like, Paddy Fug Gay? Was to forward the movement mm. of the gays. <laughs> <laughs> right? What does MFI stand for? <laughs> I just call them the gays. <laughs> right? Um, Do you want to forward the movement of the Karens? With their shit haircuts and their terrible attitude? No, but you could. it'd be funny to see someone just fucking really put put the studs in. Ow, you so you're setting up you a football club. broken me spine. <laughs> Shut up, Karen. Let's put the foot in that. Hang on, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, but they would. So Karen in the Van and Allen National League, the team is going to be like populated by Karens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we're yeah. putting like 50 odd year old women. <laughs> yes, With mate. the I want to speak to the manager of course, against yeah, yeah. like people who didn't make it in the Prem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You're like, oh, what? Nice big yawn. No, Ka- block me up. Ka- Karen FC. Just a, a little bit of a nudge. Ah, oh, me spleen. <laughs> no, I Nate, think, I'm dead. I think, me, me. I think we should be doing stuff um, more positive. Yeah, I think we should like we, we should be focusing on a marginalised uh, group. Sex workers united. You've got to have done sure. porn. Porn. You, you, you bedraggled homeless porn stars. I don't Hang know. On, was this team full of gays? <laughs> um, it, or did it, they just? Or did they just represent them? I think it was the gays. The I thing. think it was just, yeah. Can I, Jonathan Mayer, uh, my friend from uh, all of my comedy career, Good who MC. is, I think, you know, well up there. It, top five gays all time, he's well up there. Yeah. Um, and also a cracking left back <laughs> on his day. Honestly. He played for a gay rugby team 
that all met via, you know, the village. And uh, they, they were a gay rugby team. That happens a lot. So is that what this team was? I think it was, yeah, just gay players going, do you know what? We're going to put a lower league team together. Oh, so they we're were discriminating gay. against the straights. Disgusting. Don't want to get involved anymore. Oh. Little people? Yeah, that would be good, actually. Okay. Tell us a corner. <laughs> Summer. Don't give a corner away, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Scoring own goals <laughs> to avoid corners. Yeah. Just hoof it up. Yeah. Just have a big man up front, five foot eight. Keep it on the ground. <laughs> Tiki tack. They don't like being called that. Um Yeah, okay. That was good. Any other any other? Any other marginalized groups who we can mock? The homeless? <laughs> Bin men. Bin men are on dolly, you know. Yeah. Do you know about this? Bin men get paid an absolute bag of sand, mate. I think it's 80 grand. <laughs> They're on dolly. Dolly. I thought you said, I thought it was a new scousism that I'd not learned. No. They're on fucking dolly, mate. No, they're on dolly. All right. All right. Like bin men are on a fucking woohoo. Rowy bags. Not just bags of fucking rubbish. I think it's like 80, 90 grand to be a bin, man. Yeah, and it's all run by the Mafia as well. It is in the States. I've seen the Sopranos. No, Chest Chester and Cheshire West. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm. Mafia bin, man. Yeah. But can you just put in uh, average UK bin man salary? Because this is going to surprise you. Is it going to Is it gonna blow my tits off? Click a in real life. It better be 115 <laughs> grand. Wait until you see the last one. It better be 125 and a half grand a year. Oh, see. my God. Fucking dolly. <laughs> on the fucking dolly. That's not true. I've been lied to. I thought you were on at least 80 grand. I thought it was 80 grand. I thought it was like bin man or MP. What do you want to be? <laughs> Head teacher. Uh, sorry, speed round. <laughs> Nathan Penton says, question for all the lids. Don't know if you've seen, but they are bringing out a TV series of Warhammer 40K on Amazon. If you could have any childhood game become a TV show, what would it be and why? So, Bustio. Keep changing the game. Hoping to see both you guys on your next tour. Nathan from Chesterfield. See you in Chesterfield. You'll have to travel to Nottingham. Real I'd like football. to see like a real life game of Sabutio. That'd be mad. So, a TV series called Sabutio. No. Right. Just like the concept of Sabutio. Like the footy. Make that a, a game football? with people. That'd be mad. All right. Is it, hang on. Is it following <laughs> the lives of some Sabutio players. No, I just want to watch football. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to let you know that there is a pretty well-televised league local to you. To I think you'd enjoy it. it. feels like it hasn't been on for a while. I am missing going to the league. It's been a weird weird winter break, hasn't it? I've never been there. It's been fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're coming back just in time for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> well, you shout out the older people. I'd, I'd love a Thundercats remake. I think it'd be fucking great. They've just remade Willow. Where's Thundercats? What the fuck's Willow? Is Thundercats a game now? Willow. Willow. What's that? You just saying it in a weird name. Willow. Stop explaining what it is. Change me back, you idiot. Willow. No? No. Mad Morgan. Was this on the wireless? It was like on, the arches. It was on the film. <laughs> it, was at the, it was at the speakies. They're saying it's a game? No. Don't know if you have seen, but they are bringing out a TV series of Warhammer Forget. If you could have any childhood game become a TV show. Yeah, you can't read. I played. How with, about reading? I, for played, you? I played with I played with uh, Thundercats. Uh, that no, but that, that, that game was based. That, that Those toys were based on the TV show. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, my bad. You have bad. to pick a game. My bad. Grand um, Theft Auto. That would actually be sick. Yeah. Like a, a TV series. GCM. Crime series. Yeah. Ooh. Genuinely It'll just be an episode where he gets bored, just goes around stopping the traffic lights. It'd be, it'd be good. We'll do all that sort of when he kills prostitutes and money. What about Conkers, the movie? <laughs> Come on, then got pretty. It got pr words. It got pretty. It got pretty bad at our school, Conkers. Did you play it though? You saw fingers. I did it till it got banned. I know we didn't play it. We collected them, but I never played it myself. You are? Yeah. You never played Conkers? No. Yeah, in our school, nearly lost their eyes to Conkers. Talk me through. Drugs. Because <laughs> she tried to smoke conkers. <laughs> no, um, so we had conker trees on the school grounds. Right. And uh, one is of the this Cardinal Heenan? No, this is St. Margaret Mary's. Oh, St. Margaret Mary's MFI. <laughs> 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 what was she called? Little Mandy? Her name was Robin. Robin are the conkers. <laughs> yeah, literally... <laughs> Fucking, I saw the gap. <laughs> De Bruyne, Haaland, <laughs> fucking wordplay. 
Um, Come on. One of the lads uh, got a branch of a tree. That's not conkers, by the way. That's just abuse. <laughs> no, That's, no. he threw the branch of the tree like a spear. How big was this fucking kid <laughs> that he's throwing <laughs> branches? It wasn't the trunk. Oh, It was a stick. All right, okay, cool. And he threw it trying to get conkers down, and it went into her eye. Ouch. I'm not even messing. She might listen to this. I've got it on all social media. So. She's not watching. <laughs> No, but I, like it, she she survived. Right. Did you get her? She's it's got good. both her eyes. Good girl. Yeah. Right. Cool. A branch. Just yeah. a, a big twig. No, it was spear. It was a big stick, like a it, log. How many fucking? Her eye was bleeding and stuff. Like it went into her eye. Oh Jesus! It was grim. Right, we didn't yeah. have we didn't. So have we had the girl but... who only had one eye for a bit. We had the girl who didn't oh, have a bum hole. That's not real. Oh, the bum hole. Tell me the story. What was oh. in it? You can't tell you the name because it's true. Oh yeah, it isn't. <laughs> but the Robin story. That's absolutely fine. Apparently, she had a fucking bum hole plumbed in. <laughs> that is what happened. So Go. she had a bum hole in. No, no, she, no, she, no, no. She was born no. with just. She had two arse cheeks. New listeners. But it was like her asshole had been plastered over. <laughs> Yeah, and one day she was. So they plumbed it in. No, she didn't. A lad got a branch out of a tree, <laughs> threw it in the air. She was fucking trying to get to sleep, tickling her own balls. In it goes. Problem sorted. Speed round. New listeners are like, "What the fuck just happened?" Do the back catalogue, guys. The reason we haven't explained probably there, if you're a new listener, is I've told that story before. It was a girl, and she was born with no arsehole. and she went to our school, and eventually she got one plumbed in. And she had a catheter. She'd have been on time. Channel 5. What? The girl with no arsehole. Maybe she didn't want to be the subject of a documentary. The girl with no arsehole. <laughs> that sounds like a gripping drama. Yeah, with the dragon tattoo. It's the remake. <laughs> Daniel Craig. Um, <laughs> speed round. Johan Williams Don't says... Don't like you don't believe me about that. It's a fucking lie. <laughs> you can text Josh all you want. <laughs> Johan Williams says... <laughs> Johan. Johan. Are we spelling it? Welsh? Yeah. I-O-A-N. I-O... Double-I-O-A-N. <laughs> oh, what a load of shite. I own. I own. Say it right. Johan. What's your friend's name? Sorka. <laughs> uh, <coughs> says, all right, lads, got a question for the pod. Not the most exciting one, but if you could have three pets of your choice, let's say one normal pet, cat, dog, hamster, etc., one exotic pet, salamander, snake, frogs, etc., and one unrealistic pet, lion, elephant, crocodile, lion, tiger, bear, oh my. Let's say you have the space and the time to care for them. What would you choose? Which three would you choose? Cheers, lads. Keep doing what you do as you are fucking killing it. Thank so you, Johan. This. Got it. Don't worry. You just can take two minutes off. Uh, obviously, the, the main one, Dog, you're going dog, you got to go dog, but I'm going like big old dog. If I'm living in a fancy world, I'm going big old dog. How big? Like um, an Alaskan big. Malmute. Oh, oh they're big. Actu- I was actually bitten by an Alaskan Malmute. Was you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, a girl from school was do you know bit- what? Do you know what an Alaskan Malmute up. is? It's a fucking massive, obnoxious dog. It's a husky thing. Do you know what a Tibetan oh, Mastiff is? <clears throat> Finn Google Tibetan Mastiff. It looks like a Pokemon. My mother-in-law's got two huskies. They're very nice dogs. I'm having one of these if I'm having a dog. It's a better master. But you can't let them off the leash because they'll fuck off back to the North Pole. Oh, one of them. Yeah. Can you do us an Alaskan Malmoose just so Dan's got a picture in his head? So they're the ones that can fight off fucking, like, yeah. wolves. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Look at his happy little Aww. face. Aww. He's a big boy. Yeah. Well, do you know what? I agree with your choice of dog. It's a slightly camper husky. Yeah. And then a winged cobra. <coughs> What? A so winged cobra? Is that what they're called? The one... Like, you know where it's got, like... Like where, the Elizabethan... Like where, the where big it looks like they've got, like, a fucking... An Elizabethan cobra. Do you know what I mean? The one that looks like Arbok from yeah, Pokemon. Yeah. Arbok. The papists. Cobra. Yeah. An Arbok. One of them. And then... Like I what? Thi- Arbok. Cobra An Arbok. Backwards. Is that the Scouse name for a fucking no. winged Pokemon? cobra? It's a, it's a Pokemon. Sorry. It's cobra backwards. I thought you were like, yeah, we don't we don't call them winged cobras. Like, ah, but you call them Arbok, mate. You're <laughs> fucking Arbok's dead ass. Arbok is just cobra backwards. It's the name of the you got to have some and fucking Ekans dolly. A snake backwards. A snake backwards. <laughs> got to have a fucking dolly on you to get a fucking Arbok. Go on. Um, and then I think for me, unrealistic one, I'm either going rhino <laughs> or giraffe. I think. I think, I think a giraffe would be easier to look after than an Arbok. Than a rhino. No, but I'm assuming they're under my control. Ah. Uh. So I can get the snake to do my whim. 
to do your whim. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I don't know what his letters. Um, I, I'll go, I, I, I'm not ready for a dog. I want a dog when I'm older, when Laura Defo leaves me because she just finds me annoying. You are older? No, I mean, oh, like give it 60, another five oh. years. <laughs> I just want a little Jack Russell to keep me company. No. You don't want a Jack Russell? Jack Russell. They want a Jack they Russell. They won't keep you company though. He's it's great. Just, the little fucking. No, they're not. They're they're little little fuck 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 oh my God. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. Right. Jack Russell's the shit. Are they? Basically the genes of dogs. No one likes wearing jeans. Great take. <laughs> <laughs> Love my, just, you know what? I get a Jack Russell just to fucking annoy you lot. With He's your, Jack with Russell your big old the like, Oh my God, it's cold, isn't it? Oh, thank God I'm all fluffy. Ooh. That's your dog. <laughs> I don't know why I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed at him. Sorry. My dog. What's your dog? Oh, you've got a dog. Got a and he's really dog. fucking cute. Yeah. Um, Polar bear's my uh, exotic one, but he loves me. So that's not the unrealistic one. That's the exotic <laughs> one. <coughs> yeah, sorry. The unrealistic one. I want a, I would just want a polar bear. They're fucking. What about your exotic one, though? I can see you having a newt. <laughs> how, exo- <laughs> how is it exotic? Is exotic as fucking newt. Oh, no. One of them real. I want to let those little tropical frogs. They're just like, they fuck you up, don't you? You can lick them. Yeah, but then you die. Yeah, hi. No, I think there's there's frogs that you can lick, isn't there? Uh, yeah. Other Simpsons. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, I'm going for that one. I'm going for the psychedelic frog. Uh, so you're going a little Jack Russell and a, a polar Jack bear. Jack Russell, a polar bear, and free drugs, basically. Sounds fucking great, doesn't it? <laughs> Just get baked with my polar bear. <laughs> Have a look at that, Simba. You've called it Simba because you're ironic. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> polar going. bears are fucking hard, mate. Guinea come round mine with a pot. Like, you better be invited. I won't come. Guinea pig, capybara, alligator, <laughs> done. Guinea pig, what's the second one? Capybara. What's that? It's just a big chunky fella. <laughs> it's just a great way of dealing with it. Come round mine with a polar bear. I won't come. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You've got a polar bear. And I'll know better. <laughs> Carl, I'd like you to come round to my house. Not a chance. Polar bear keeping freak. <laughs> alligator. Fucking dinosaur, innit? I've got a dinosaur. Yeah. Just, they're horrible though, aren't they? Exactly. What are you going for, Finn? Uh, I'll go for a, a big dog as well. Um, big dog. Big dog. Uh, then <laughs> a What's that breed? parrot. I want a parrot. Oh, one of the. Are you high? Go on, go on. Go on one of them go on. stereotypical red with a bit of yellow. The I'm a cop. J- yeah, them ones. And teaching to, teach and to then, speak Welsh. Yeah, and then I've already always had a soft spot for a llama, so I think I'd go for a llama. Yeah. I've lost a little bit of respect for you. But <laughs> yeah, I've got a polar bear. Yeah. You've got a llama. Spit in your face. Yeah, I'll rip your head off. I won't. My polar bear with. What's he called? Simba, because I'm ironic. <laughs> Bring it I'll on. have a cockatoo. Like Finn. Like you, man. I thought he set the joke up. <laughs> Ow. Speed round. <laughs> Oh, Kat Sinclair says, Wag Wag Lids, a lady here, a lady. Uh, I came across a news story about a guy that was obsessed with Sabutio. Oh, I got sent to. I got sent to. Who had a whole room dedicated to Sabutio. If you were going to nerd out and have a room dedicated to something, what would it be? Well, I, you know the little green army men you used to get? Yeah. I once had like, maybe like 5,000 of them and I, I had a little war zone all over my own my old bedroom. How many do you have though? Did thousands. it feel like five thousand? No, no, thousands. Right. Yeah. All when did you buy them? All in one go or was it like a collective? You see like a, a tub of them, didn't you? They were That's quite all cheap. he wants all he wants for Christmas yeah. is a Kawasaki and a tub of <laughs> fucking army men. They were hungry one day and I fed them all with one loaf and one fish. That's two fish. He is army Jesus. Yeah. Right. I made like me whole like there was like I had like some of them on like string coming off my bunk bed so it looked like they were like parasailing down on it. Well, I'm trying to do this in my garden office. I just want uh, bric-a-brac. What's the... what? what cl- tat. T- yeah, but like... Lego. Nostalgic tat. Yeah. Every yeah. time, like... So I, I've actually looked at Warhammer. I want... I want... Because I could never paint them. Like I, I, I used to love... Uh, some lids have given me... Little, when we've mentioned Warhammer, they've given me a little space marine. I've got a couple in my garden office. I want a little uh, brigade, brigade, a little team of 
Not team. Regiment. Uh, no, just like eight or nine. Squad. Sp- Space Wolves or Blood Angels. I used to love I used to love Blood Angels. So I've been looking. People paint them, do them really nicely, and then sell them on eBay. I think I'm going to gift myself a little fucking Blood Angel squadron. So I don't, I, don't, I don't want a whole room of it, though. I like having, like, NFL stuff on the walls. What would you go? you go army men again. I'd go army men again, yeah. Carl, you've got football shirts coming out. You could have a fucking whole room of it. Uh, Pokemon. All right. I think having, like, proper, like, old school Pokemon cards and having, like, little figures and that, that'd be sick. Because the Pokemon's back in now. Still the original 150, though. It's got to be the original yeah, 150. Gem 150 or all this fucking, like, what? Cockerbock. I'd love a full Skeletrix. I'd love a full Skeletrix. You should do my head in. Oh, d- Have you got divorced without telling us? <laughs> my garden office is basically, it's basically divorce proof in my life. When she's like, you're out of here. I'll be like fucking 20 meters down the garden. <laughs> Why I got fucking big window. Bifold. <laughs> if she kicks me out, I'm at the back of the garden. That's where I'll be. Looking is it at better than your house? What? Is it better than your house? It's not got a toilet. I have to piss around the bush. B- around the bushes. It's not a problem, is it? N- no. It's just not. So every time someone comes to stay over, Laura's like, you can't put people in the garden office. There's no facilities. She never says that. But she says there's no toilet. I'm like, it doesn't matter. There's, a, there's only blokes staying. Vittorio, Ishan, Jamie Hutchinson. Jamie Hutchinson can sleep on the I know a lot trampoline. of women who piss in a bush. Yeah, but not. It's not a lot. I just think it's not a pr- it's not an issue pissing around the back of the garden office, is it? No. I fine. did it when I stayed. It oh, fine. you've stayed, haven't you? Yeah. Did I you? I had a shit in your garden. No, I wasn't in stain. <laughs> Broke it. Just fuck around. around. That's why I'm getting a polar bear. Dirty cop. <laughs> Speed round. Well, we all used to piss freely, didn't we? Yeah. I've always had toilets then. Yeah, no, just but just because we used to do something doesn't mean that you know. No, but there's some countries on earth now where people shit in the street. Finland. <laughs> uh, shall we do some advice? Yeah. I'm here to help. Here to help. I'll solve your problems. I'll tell you the best thing to do. If you haven't do it, I don't know this line. If you don't, you might do time. Oh, I don't think I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Oh, good voice, but you're not using it. Oh, oh, hey, oh. Uh, Greg says got a bit of a dilemma going at home my missus has suggested we look into bringing someone into our relationship for group sex threesomes etc we've always been pretty adventurous and she has a pretty high sex drive but three ways are another level to anything I've ever done I mean might end up us both banging some hottie which will be lush but then what happens if she then wants to bring in some bloke not sure if I deal with that very well any thoughts on this one you set the rules out from the start women only yep we can bring as many women in as you like. It's like the price is right. It's so. just like the price is right. In fact, Greg with two Gs just said, it's like the price is right. It's not a penny Bring over. as many women in as you like, but you can't be one man over. What? <laughs> what? Is there not some ratio where it's all right to have a bloke there? No. If she's like, listen, I've no. got the whole volleyball team. No. All five of them no. masculine ladies. No. It, look, also, this is this is where I admit Ed. my insecurities. I'm happy to fuck 35 women at once. I don't want a single other man to help me. Think of the parking. Um, Yeah. Think of the parking. Just think of the parking. <laughs> so he's doing, trying not to come. Where have they all parked? God, it's going to be tickets galore. Um, I don't... <sighs> I'm not into it. I, could, I don't think I could watch. What if the missus turns around and goes, right, well, it's, it's, you can't just, you can't, it's got to be all or nothing. Are you saying nothing? Nothing. It'd have to be like 500 women and one man and you'd put them at the end of the queue so you sh- you wouldn't get anywhere near yours. Right. Okay. So, well, that, so that's what Greg's got to go could back Could you to have his... a threesome with another woman? Yeah, another woman, yeah, not another man. Well, I just like eight some with seven other women. Six of the women. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think I'd get to see them all. I wouldn't. I'd wait. <laughs> Greet them on the way in. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'd be in, in a minute. Like Santa's Grotto. Former Q ladies. Got an elf working. An elf. An elf. elf. An elf. The singular of elf. His elf. Yeah, I just... Oh, Greg, just go for it. Just get in there. Come on, oh, Greg. Oh, just, if it doesn't work, divorce her. Come. Right. <laughs> this, this sounds like Last Chance Saloon, doesn't it? Sounds like she's got, 
she's got needs. And I think she's letting Greg know that it's, something's got to happen. Like, I don't know how the... It's a shame we don't know how long they've been together. Because if this is after three months, it's a bad sign, Greg. Shit's about to get three, weird, isn't it? They've been together three months? Oh, I don't know. I just oh, said I don't know. fucking hell, then, yeah, run. If, if they've been together five years and she's getting bored, I think if you love her, you've got to go for it. Fuck it, what's going to happen? Get involved, Greg. Couldn't do it. Not for me. Not even you, you get to pick the man. That's worse. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's obviously better. Yeah. Yeah. What would you go for? Really good looking guy or like, mm, yeah, you're all right. Get one of the bin men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I will bring a man in, but I get to choose them. <laughs> I don't want to be, no, I, I just couldn't do it. No, but what would you go for if you had to pick? But if we were just pretending, oh. Adam. But Adam, if we were just pretending on a podcast or something, what would you, would you, would you go A go man with no cock <laughs> and no tongue <laughs> fucking and no fingers. G.I. Joe. A man with no fingers, no cock and no tongue. Someone who'd been in a horrific accident. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, have all the fun you like with him. What accident were they, were they in? Where they lost the cock, tongue, and <laughs> fingers? A very weird fire. <laughs> He's got an arsehole, hasn't he? Yes. She can valet that for him. He's got toes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's not into toe fucking. I've decided. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Greg. Good luck. <laughs> She's not into toe fucking. No, he lost his toes as well. The fire started again. Tried to put it out with his feet. Well, he Try fucking, he's learned the hard way. He needs to stop being a fireman. Try to sit on it and weld his ass over. <laughs> he's got nothing left. I tell you what, the fucking payout though, loaded. <laughs> but he's still willing to go and try and have sex with other people's wives. Do you think we've gone too Christmassy on this episode? <laughs> <laughs> we've gone Believe too Christmas Eve. Feliz Navidad. Breaksies! What's happening, lads? I'm here to tell you about the best thing in the world and Dan's absolute favourite sponsor. It's called a VPN, specifically NordVPN. Other VPNs are available, but we don't recommend them. They're rubbish. <laughs> Awful VPNs. I tried some of the competitors and I was like, Ugh, this is a terrible VPN. And also, they all gave me viruses, and I'm not just talking about on my computer. I'm talking I had chlamydia, gonorrhea, and that was all from not using NordVPN. You gave Nord me a chest infection. <laughs> NordVPN, though, will clear all of that up. <laughs> and you'll be able to watch porn from Uganda. Get in. I, I mainly use my VPNs to watch, like, Premier League fussy games because you can get them when they're being streamed abroad, not streamed in the UK. He loves it, the Al Jazeera match, don't you? Yeah. You prefer it? No, 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 no. I watch the British games, but they're not broadcast in Britain because that's how the world works. That's done, come yeah. on. I watch the Al Jazeera coverage. That's what I meant, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. well then. A little, a little goal! It's yes. much more fun, isn't goal. it? If you go to nordvpn.com slash have a word, you'll get four months free, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Oh, that's so a, what are you how long? For? Four months free. Wow! That's one third of the year. <laughs> that's right, Peter. <laughs> that's how calendars work. Nice one, guys. Love NordVPN. Sign up, do it. Great. Fucking do it. NordVPN.com slash have a word. And if you get asked for the code at any point, that's have a word as well. You, you're clear of everything now, though. Yeah. Yeah, you've got some medicine. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. This week's episode is sponsored by McDonald's. No, it isn't. Why? Because they haven't paid us any money. Yeah, but if we, if if they see a spike in sales this week, they'll like do some research. They'll find out where it's come from, and they might give us some money. Your mom's house got $2 million from McDonald's. And then McDonald's watched back. one episode and went, oh, no, we've made a <laughs> terrible mistake. Ask for the money back. That's why we'll never get a... And Segura had already time. bought a Lamborghini. Oh, damn. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. He's Tom Horton's here. Hello. Oh! Hey. Fuck Segura. Hello. We got Horton. How are you? All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Enjoyed my McDonald's that I've just had. Cool. Thank you. Our Yours nose. Was... Our nose. Well, yeah. You're me. in the north. Yeah. It yeah. Like That's a, what we... Like a, yeah. Nice, a nice welcome. Um, you also straightened your hair. Before we started, mm. is this a thing? I've done that for ages. I had I had four pairs of hair straighteners once in my time. Could you just lift the mic a bit closer to your beautiful mouth? Yes. Is that there you go. That's yeah. lovely. That's so nice. you had four pairs of hair straighteners. I used to have like a home pair, an away pair, an in-car adapter pair, and an international pair. And an international dresser. Yeah. <laughs> what? An wow. in-car adapter. Yeah, pair? Yeah, it was always just a nervous thing. I think my my hair is like a really weird. Like it's not curly or straight. It's sort of like a pubic middle wave. Yeah, a, a perm, it's a permanent wave. You think it's a wave? It looks, it looks wavy to me. Yeah, but he's done that with the straighteners. I've done oh. it with the straighteners though. 
Yeah. If, if it wasn't this, I'd look like it's, it's a real sort of pubic y middle ground. Like my hair? Yeah, much like your hair. Yeah, cool. So he avoids your you hair. You look very nice costs. with your hair, though. <laughs> <laughs> he used to have four items. <laughs> All that did the same thing, including one that worked by his car battery, so that your hair wasn't on his head. Can I just say- but You look lovely. You put nice. it off way better than I ever could. Can I just say the items are offensive to me as a baldy, but I love the system. I love the fact that you've gone, I need to do this, and I yeah, also yeah. need to do it in all of the places I'm going to be. Like, I, like, what you're actually doing is deeply- Agitating to me. Do you, you've you got have like hair straighteners the way most people have phone chargers? Yeah. yeah. Do you I have like razors or something though? Do you shave your head? Yeah, I have razors. I have a. Or have you just been baby to this I straight through? I have a plug in razor. Car, for the car. razor? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm looking more bald. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love a, I love systems. I love stuff like that. Can you get three points for straightening your hair? You can get three points for doing anything while driving that isn't beneficial to driving. Yeah, straightening your hair, I think, might count yeah. as one of them. Oh, that's beneficial yeah. to driving. Is it, if, what, if, what if your hair's in your eyes? <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't just brush this away. <laughs> yeah, if you're doing anything, if you're talking, even, do you know it's illegal to even talk through the car thing, like the hands-free? What? Is it? Then why yeah. do they have it? What? Why do they have it? For when you parked up. No, no, it's, got, but how could, really? Because no. that what they counts as distracting. You, anything distracting. So having a conversation with someone is distracting because you're not concentrating. So your 100% focus should be on the road because a license to drive is just a license to kill, Dan. Right, yeah, that's the, yeah, I remember that saying. Um, James Bond's not allowed to use hands for today. <laughs> what about if you just feel sad? Can you get three points for that? What do you mean? Well, if you're like, oh shit, I was just feeling really morose. And you drove. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't drive sad. I don't think you can, technically. No. I mean, they'd have to, you know, they've got to prove it. You've crashed your car. Were you concentrating? I was feeling nostalgic. <laughs> That's three points for nostalgia. Oh, the eighties. Wouldn't you just lie? Oh, the eighties where you could leave your door open, TV celebrities. Can't be doing the eighties. Fiddled the everyone. National speed limit seventy. <laughs> I meant the uh, era, the decade. I've you said you are Tom. Whip them out. Outside, Don't yeah. even bother <laughs> perpetuating that. I have never once straightened. Oh, relax. Back. It's just I've a hair like, like it's gone. I've never straightened yet. I'm not saying. Bad. What are you saying? But I just thought I wouldn't do it myself. Tom, have you got are your you... podcast straighteners on you? Just whip them out and let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I've got my Liverpool specific podcast <laughs> straighteners. Oh God, hang on. These are Manchester. Stay. He does straighten his hair, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, your hair looks weirdly straight. Coiffured. Yeah, you need curlers, if anything. Yeah. It's yeah. My, my hair's too straight. I hate it. Mm. We should swap numbers. I'd, I'd love that. Yeah. I generally would. Okay. I'll swap numbers and chat chat. Have you come up just for this from London town? I have, but I'm on my way back to my family home in North Yorkshire. <laughs> 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 uh, Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> Where's the family home? Uh, in North Yorkshire, just uh, by Scotch Corner. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you own the services. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Awesome. But I'm at, yeah, just by the back of Burger King. Right. That's where we live. <laughs> Near the bins. Uh, so, okay, good. You've got that. I didn't realise because you don't. Okay, that's, that just sounds like inverted snobbery, but you don't sound to Northern. I don't know. Well, I was, but I, I was boarding school from six years old. Holy shit! Yeah. So this is <laughs> educated. No, until when? <laughs> Sorry, until when? Till eight. Till what? When boarding you, school yeah. till eighteen. Fuck me, mate. Yeah, no, six years old, pretty tough. Hang well, on, where did you think that was going? If you go into boarding school at six, you can't just be dumped at the fucking. Comprehensive at eleven. That's basically child abuse. Eight child abuse. I mean, that's a yeah. that's a BBC Three sitcom in the making, though, isn't it? Yeah. The kid from boarding school who's got to go to the local. Well, that's literally the in, that's the in between. The in between us, yeah. <laughs> that's that's happened. Yeah. Uh, in yeah. between us, he went. To uh, Will. See, Did which we? I I auditioned for that role. <laughs> <laughs> you should pitch it. <laughs> did you really? I did. I, Fuck I, off. Yeah, I auditioned with the bloke who is the. Friend, fr uh, bus friend, him, and Emily Attack, and I didn't get it because they said I didn't look like a virgin enough. <laughs> enough. Such, <laughs> such a. <laughs> what a way like, to make you feel. You gone. should see my hair straightening. You, you, you haven't got the part, mate. But look, it's only because you look like you're getting too much pussy. <laughs> if you just so, curl your hair, I feel like they were just letting me down nicely rather than actually being serious. 
Every job interview should do yeah. that. <laughs> you're going to give you a job, but you don't look Sorry, like a virgin. <laughs> you just look like you slay too Keep much puss. Keep smashing the puss. And that's why you haven't got this job <laughs> at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> um, you auditioned for that. You didn't get it. No. Nope. Um, so you you say your family home's in North Yorkshire. Do yes. they not live where I went a while back? No. So the They've so- been kicked out, haven't they? We, uh, we've moved out now, yeah. Were they so, in arrears? Sorry? Were they in rental arrears? <laughs> well, our landlady died. Yeah. Can we say where it is, please? <laughs> yeah. Where did they used to live? He used to live in the Tower of London. He did. did. And the Queen was his fucking landlord. And yeah. then our, now, our, now our land- if you're a regular listener to our podcast, that sounds like the level of bullshit <laughs> that we do on the regs. And everyone's like, oh, these are mad. Well, that is absolutely true. It Tom true. lived in the Tower. I did for six years. So I had family home, actual home up north. And then to my dad is the ex... Uh, professional head of the whole military, so Navy, Army, Air Force. I can give you. Ti- I can give you the title if you want. Yeah. yeah. What's the title? What's the title of your dad? This is uh, General Sir Nicholas Horton, Knight Grand Commander of the British Empire, Constable of the Tower of London, Lord Baron of Richmond. Yeah, yeah. Me, mate. And an absolute- oh, that's his mate's call him Keith. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, big Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> professional head because the head is the king. Is that, that right? Is- Oh, the pres- professional. I don't know why I said professional, but yeah, it's like there's an unprofessional one. He's just like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> with a fucking super soaker walking around. Nukes constantly. Nah, nah, fucking fucking it. around with guns. Well, I had a drink. <laughs> so right, what, he head. retired and basically got the gig as, as the, what do they call it? The captain of the... Constable. The constable. Constable of the tower, which sounds like a police officer, doesn't it? But it's not. Yeah, the queen said, would you like to do that? And he said, Yes. And at that point, I was I I was I used to be in the noise next door. How? Uh, how hang on. Oh, whoa, whoa. you can't just segue into the noise next door after a sentence that was the Queen said. Do you want to do this? And he said <laughs> yes. I know who will be good for this yeah. job. Big but, Nicky. Well, you, was was your dad? What's his name? Nick Nicholas. Nick. Can I call him Nick. Sure. You right. can call him Keith. So was Nick and Liz on like oh, yeah. like speed dial? Did they know each other? Yeah. They, they yeah they they know they'd hang out a lot because head of the military. So. I mean, she said when he retired on his retirement day at the Ministry of Defence, she sent him a carriage that took him to Buckingham Palace so she could say well done. Um, my parents and the Queen used to go shooting together and stuff. Oh, apparently, you um, lucky fuckers. Apparently We've once, got some questions uh, about the Queen that need answered. <laughs> <laughs> you might be the man I mean, to I help. Mean, God rest her soul. Uh, Speak for yourself. Apparently one, yeah, one, <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot where I am. Sure, you, got, you guys... Oh, we love the Queen. Yeah. We're on the opposite sides, aren't we? Oh, oh, mate, if we... they had your, if they had their way, you'd have been asked for a passport at Roncorn, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so let's not. <laughs> no, I, um, yes, yeah, so they hang out a lot. They used to uh, go to events and stuff, like sit in the royal boxes. I've been in a few of them. I've been to Buckingham Palace twice. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's she like? What was she like? I never met her. I was in the same room as her. How do you know you're in the same room as her? Well, I know. Smell her. <laughs> Well, I could see her. Ah, uh, but you didn't go over and meet her. <laughs> no, because you're like the thing. Carl, if you're in the queen, have you had a show? <laughs> no, if you're in the room, it's queen, not like you go over, in. wouldn't you? You'd be like, not, oh, no, it's, not, it's not like a table in Weatherspoons where you're like, you can just go, <laughs> fucking hell, Lizzie! <laughs> you know my dad, Big Nick? Like, <laughs> I'd give it a go. I'd, I'd How would you know she's in the room with you? <laughs> Never open your eyes in the presence of the queen. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, is that Izzy Miyaki? <laughs> Big Liz loves his Izzy. Lizzie Miyaki. Lizzie Miyaki. Ah, come on, <laughs> come on, bro. So, like, so two times we're in Buckingham Palace when it was the throne room, because my dad's been knighted twice. The toilet? What? The toilet? The, well, that I went to the toilet. She's having a shit anymore. <laughs> I did. Made sure I took a slash in Buckingham Palace. You've got to do that, right? Yeah. I'd, I'd have shot in Buckingham Palace. I did, you? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. That's so much more respect for you. Who went in the when we did the arena, I went through the list of people that are plopped in the uh, main main dressing room. Yeah. That's the first thing you do, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. think of that. I didn't muck in the arena. I did. I had the pre-show poke. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> muck. It's the first thing I did when I came here. <laughs> was it you? Yes. Yeah. The places you've shit. <laughs> Buckingham <laughs> Palace. Have a word, HQ. Your dad was knighted twice. I think this is a grand knight. Oh, for fuck's sake, Tom. I know, How get- have you ended being mates with us, knobheads? <laughs> this is this I've speaks got, I, badly of you. I have got a title, though. No. Yeah, He's I'm the I'm the honourable. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no reason, like, for, I've done nothing. You got a while on. 
<laughs> you got some wire on. A wi- oh, wire on. Oh. Yeah. Right. So, so why, why were you in the same room as the Queen, and why didn't you go and give her a fist bump? <laughs> I love how you got your little pinky extended when you're doing your McDonald's cup as well. No, he's, um, he's just, talking classy. It's because, well, I was there in Buckingham Palace because my dad was getting knighted twice. Mm. So you get invited. And I remember thinking, every time I've seen her, the national anthem always played when she came in and then when she left. So just thinking, how many times has that woman had to listen to that? Yeah. National I'm sick of my walk on song and I've only been doing comedy like 10 years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because also, like, God Save the Queen, from her perspective, that translates to her as just people going, stay alive. Yeah, <laughs> stay alive. Just remember wherever you like, wherever you went, that's what you listened to. That's what the Bee Gees did. When she <laughs> sung it, do you reckon she changed it to me? God when, save me. God save me. God <laughs> save our gracious me. Like just with the comb in the front of you. We'll never me, know. Me, me, me. <laughs> never know because she never me, got an me, England cap. A real show. <laughs> She'd have been fucking great in the middle. <laughs> she had great vision. <laughs> what do you because you're you've you've from a uh obviously a pretty good background and whatnot you've been to boarding school but i mean do you and also you've done loads of shit old comedy clubs with us with oh, yeah. which is great but do you have like an inbuilt sort of confidence when you go to these sort of really high-end like if you're going to buckingham palace do you get a bit of a twitchy arsehole like this is a bit full on or are you like no this is fine because i would be a fucking state would yeah. You? Oh, I'd be. I'd just know I'd make a knob of myself. I don't fucking. I hate it. like anywhere with a dress code freaks me out. I can't stand it. Just go on your sackies, right? Like easy e mate. Mm-hmm. Like Jerry Curl to go on everything. Me, Tom. Have, I, th- I. I think it's. I. Uh, yeah. No, you definitely have a an idea that it's it's a big uh, it's a big thing. I mean. I guess the, like, the House of Lords, I've been there a couple of times now recently, and I don't have a, much of a worry there. Did you shit there? Ooh. Oh, God. I don't think I did, you Oh, know. you know. No, not yet. That's on the bucket list. It will be. But that was just a timings issue rather than not wanting to. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> not taking laxatives on your way yeah. to the House of Lords. Got that's that's, that's one of the positives of having IBS. Is whenever I oh, visit a historical <laughs> landmark, I can just shit on the man. You're purpose built for it. <laughs> I yeah. mean, that's why you've never been invited to the House of Lords. <laughs> Matter of time. Matter of time. Yeah, I bet you're well on their to-do list. <laughs> Get Rowie Bags in. Lord Rowie Bags. It's a remix. I am that's a Lord, though. Yeah. Finn got me a Lordship for Christmas last oh, year. Oh, he is a Lord. Somewhere oh. in Aberdeenshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He got you that. How much did that cost, Finn? I wonder why I haven't been invited to the house yet. 35 quid. 35 quid. There's what your answer. The House of Lords. Yeah. I wonder why he hasn't been invited yet. Yeah, because Finn spent 35 quid on it. <laughs> <laughs> he spent 35 quid on some knobhead photocopy and a fucking certificate. Whoever that guy is, smart. <laughs> He's probably a lord. Um, Am I allowed to go though? Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's an actual lordship. <laughs> I don't want to burst your bubble. No, I don't think. Do this. I think it's technically just a name change, rather than. I've got a certificate, and it's got one of those little red stamp things on. Do you know what? A wax seal. Do you want to come back with me to London? Yeah, that's basically like an invite. You can go in and go. Yeah, red seal. And go. Oh, fucking hell. So your dad had done such a good job as the head of the uh, forces mm-hmm. that basically, is it like a cushy sort of semi-retirement job? Being the constable of the tower? Yeah, it's like, it's like a more ceremonial the position. Because... Is yeah. that basically just like giving him a gaff? Really, yeah, really nice hat. Is it just like, a it's a house? Just like... So, yeah, it's, like, so it's Queen's house, yeah. uh, built in 1540 under the reign of Henry VIII for Anne Boleyn. And it was... Did she get off, or did she? She just, got off there, didn't she? She got, yeah, yeah. At, she at got chopped, yeah. She got chopped. French sword. She was the first, wasn't she? She was yeah. the first to get chopped. Yeah. I'd have been a bit suspicious of Lizzie there if I was your half fella. She was like, "I'll go and live in there." Like, what? The fucking chop in the other house? No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what's called. Called. I'm all right. There's literally a guillotine <laughs> yeah. outside by the. Well, I've been. I went. I went to when Tom lived there. He showed me round. I wanted to have a poo in Hitler's toilet, but I wasn't allowed. What? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a there's a toilet. Hang on, what? The, so in, toilet. in in the Tower of London, there's a, a cell that they built for if they ever caught Hitler, right? And there's right. a toilet in there that's never been used because mm-hmm. it was for him. Right. But it was built for Hitler, so it's Hitler's toilet, and they've just kept it. Just, it's just there. It doesn't work, right? But it's a proper like. That was the payback for the war. We're going to build him a toilet, but guess what, guys? No flush. It's not going to flush. <laughs> He'll be fuming. Yeah. 
you'd also be quite tempted to just install a big gold fist that just comes up from the U-bend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think oh. he'd use the toilet again, though, would he? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Fool me once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a photo of me stood on the Tower of London in a pair of 110s and a Philadelphia Eagles t-shirt. That was always like the weird, because you came over and you're like, I've not going to do the accent, but... No, give just, it a go. No, no, no. Oh, no. Wait, do wait. You, what do you think? That, <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's the fucking first pair of 110s that's been around the Tower? Uh, yeah. It's like yeah. Polo Grade. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> apart, from, apart from Hitler's 110s, yeah. they had yeah. them ready <laughs> next to the toilet. If we catch him... No, he'd have been more of an addict. That's why him. Yeah, I know, but that's why they, you know, to fuck him over. <laughs> <laughs> I am one an Adidas like, man. One times, lad. <laughs> Got it for you. So six. So you ended up now, Tom. Like you're a like a, an adult and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't live with your parents, do you? So when well, I did no, but I mean, when it was like, did your dad go? Listen, Tom, this is going to be a real fuck around. I'm going to live at the Tower of London. I know you're like. You've got a flat and everything, but do you want to just pie that off and just live here? Well, that's it. So, because I, I was living with the noise next door in Brighton, my old group. The noise next door are a comedy improv group. Yeah, they're still going. And they're yeah, very they're doing good. very well. Lovely people. They are. And very um, funny. I left them at the same time my dad moved in, so it just happened at the same time. All right. So as I was moving up, it was like so I could either you know, rent a small room on the outskirts of London or. Go yeah. and live in the massive historical palace for free with my dad. And it was like just to get your comedy career. Just off to, the ground. do you know what? It's quite nice to have that little leg up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, yeah. Take it. I, I mean, they say there's a there's a, a problem with uh, how unfair it is with the class system and comedy, but I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think yeah. I have had the same old schools that all you guys have. Yeah, it's <laughs> not even in West London. Uh, you know I mean? Question: <laughs> Difficult now because your family don't live there anymore. Yeah. And Lizzie, you know, gone. So. <laughs> Executed. <laughs> that house Choppy that you tower. lived in. Yeah. Is that on like Zoopla now? Right move? Is, uh, yeah, do you have to apply to the king? Well, it's changed its name. Is it King House? It's King's House now. And the Queen's Guard now the King's Guard. Yeah. So, but who lives in the house? The new constable. Oh, the I see. One. Right, who's that? Oh, I can't remember his name. You'll know him. You'll know. He drinks in the air. He's Scottish John. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been selling firearms to the royal family for so long. They were like, like, like who's that? Like, Tom, like, let me think of the name. Like, we're all li listening. Like, we might know him. There's a chance. Who is it? Uh, on, you're oh, going to feel oh, shit. fucking oh, no. stupid I now. Think he plays, if I this think, is Bradley Walsh or something. I think he plays darts with me dad. <laughs> Bradley Walsh. Is it Bradley Walsh? Is it Bradley Walsh? No, he was the previous one. Ah. Uh, <laughs> And then, he, and then he went on to do the chase afterwards. Because that's the natural progression. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's head of the military, constable, and then the chase. host the chase. Yeah. Can you Google and see what it is, see if we know him. What's the title? Constable? Constable of the Tower of London. Constable Allison. <laughs> the load of huskers <laughs> come up. <laughs> constable, constable, constable. General Sir Gordon Messenger. Gordon Messenger, that's What it. a fucking surname that is. Melinda's dad. <laughs> <laughs> She's living there now. She's that, in your bedroom. That's, that's, that's... that's <laughs> Is that your dad? No, that's General Dannett. <laughs> that is there. Don't know. Uh, I can't see him on there. What um, the fuck? He's General Horton. Where did he get that off from? Is that his hair coming through his ass? h u j h 2 n Like Tid Ebo West. Uh, uh, there he is. That's quite a good picture. Oh, Big Nicky. Oh my God, he looks like you. Look at that. That's well, a lot, lot of fucking medals, that. That's a lot of medals. Are they all his? <laughs> Do. <laughs> yes, yeah, some of them of chocolate. He's not got them so, on Etsy. Are those medals that he's got on there and all the other stuff? Yeah. Like, are they always on that jacket? Because I would, f I would <laughs> that, find that, it very that, that, difficult that, to resist the urge to hang them off me Christmas tree. That's just his pyjamas. How would you wash that in the washing machine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking nuts, mate. 30 degrees, Max. Yeah. Is that the Victoria Cross? Uh, no, that is the KCBE, I think. That's the Knight Commander of the British Empire. Oh, my God, Tom. That's what I wanted to look at. <laughs> They're fucking sick, then. It feels weird. It's just <laughs> eyeing up my dad's chest. They're all just really big Pandora weird. charms, really, aren't they? You queued up outside. <laughs> you guys not got any medals? I got one yesterday because there's... <laughs> 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 this is actually true. The Christmas markets are in Liverpool at the minute. <laughs> and uh, you pay a fiver and you get five uh, shots of a football. And there's like uh, eight holes in the wall. 
And if you get it in once, you get a medal. Twice you got a footy, and three times you got an England shirt. Oh. And I put it in with my first shot. I was just like, that'll do. Give me a medal. How did the other shots go? I didn't take them. You just I did. It. I missed the other four. But the I first one went right in. I've got my granddad's medals from uh, the Second World War. That's so sick. Can you bring them in? Yeah, so it was okay, dead yeah. satisfying. Service in Africa, I think, one of the most. Nice. I, I paid for the shots. It was my second lot of goes. <laughs> Fuck you, granddad. Yeah. Fuck you, granddad. I was in the middle of a story. Don't dare it. No, it was boring. <laughs> it was boring. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> God. Oh, did he serve? Well, Adam scored. <laughs> How many shots did your granddad score in Africa? None. <laughs> <laughs> fighting Rommel bore off full disclosure I missed the first five so I paid again <laughs> oh my god and the reason I paid again is as I took my fifth one some woman with her fucking kid who was dying to have a go went no you're not having a go because it's, it's literally impossible that's how they make the money and when she said that I was like I'm going to fucking show you and the next shot right in and I looked at her dead in the eye and went and then she kissed you <laughs> <laughs> and she was like he needs a dad and then laughed went dad <laughs> is that you <laughs> And then we fucked. <laughs> right there. And I fucked us so hard oh, that we no. did a DNA test afterwards. Oh. And that kid's mine. The kid started clapping. <laughs> Adam, Adam. Fuck it out. Oh, congratulations. Well, yeah, I got a medal. Yeah, yeah. The dad. Nice. Have you got any medals? Have you done anything like military? military? <laughs> no, I've got some rosettes. Swim meets, uh, so yeah. celebrations, mate. Horse riding and stuff, but no, no medal. <laughs> Horse riding, like racing, or like point there, uh, yeah, or like dressage and dressage stuff. Dressage is mad that one, isn't it? Oh, mate, that way you get the horse the, to be like fucking. Yeah, well, yeah, the horse was diving and fucking cartwheeling. <laughs> Or crimp that video of Snoop Dogg yeah. and Kevin Hart watching yeah, yeah. the that dress hard. Oh, oh, we're going to get this in a video. <laughs> <laughs> it does. When you watch Snoop Dogg watching dress hard, it so does it look is. pretty, like, it looks like they've, what, you know, in uh, LA walking. when they've got the zoop, yeah. zoop, zoop, zoop. Yeah. Do you reckon the horses know that they look fucking sick though, and that? Oh, mate, yeah. they are the biggest prick horses. <laughs> I bet you fucking anything. If they're hanging out with the other fucking horses, Holes. they're like, <laughs> twat. Yeah. Do you not think? I reckon they're getting pussy though. Right. They're getting horse pussy. They can move, can't they? Girls like a man who can dance. Yeah, they'd never they'd never stay in the in-betweeners. <laughs> no. Too much pussy. <laughs> like if he's in the club like that, oh, bo, bo, and there's some little maggot in the corner who can't even dance. She's sucking him off. Fact. <laughs> Deal with that. I've got no interest in going the horses. It just doesn't it, it doesn't, doesn't would you go the dress? It doesn't do it do it to me. If, if we were all going to something like the national or mm -hmm. one of the like I'd, just to say I've done it. But it just does never something that's particularly interested me. I think we're going to be in Nashville when the Nationals on. What? So we can't go next year. All oh, right. We what's just go to a rodeo. What's the year one in the States? It's the Kentucky, Kentucky Derby, Derby, isn't it? The Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's when Kentucky play Kentucky. Yeah. It's big. It's Kentucky City against City. Kentucky United. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> the amount of fucking chicken. Um <laughs> <laughs> we should go the Austin. <coughs> Why would you not follow in your dad's footsteps? Footsteps. 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 What, would, you, would you follow in your dad's foreskin? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. That's what you wanted to say. He's circumcised. I couldn't. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, why did um, you not want to follow him into his well, job? Well, I think because he he's, he'd done it all. Like, if he got to the, he got to the top of the military, so I wouldn't have ever been able to be better than that. I see what you mean. But also, I was like performing Cats the Musical on the stairs at five oh, in a leotard, right. and they all went, ooh, maybe not the front line for this one. Maybe the right Navy. Uh, right, okay. Possibly the Navy. Yeah. <laughs> and they saw my hair straighteners coming out and went, it's getting more and more unlikely, <laughs> I think, actually. So I relate to that a lot, you know. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which bit? Following your dad's footsteps. I, I just know what you mean. Like, because he completed it. Like, if he'd only got to like yeah. the second level. Then I'd have been like, do. oh, I'll fucking smoke this cunt. I'll get well out of him. Do you know what I mean? Second <laughs> level. Do you think it's like the... the well, whatever it is before the head of the military. The one who whispers in his ear and goes, go and tell John. It's not a it. computer game. He's made the second level. He killed a big boss <laughs> yeah. at the end of the first level. And now he's more important in the military. No, but like his dad got to the top. What I mean is if he only got to the penultimate one. Right, the fellow right. do his dad had to whisper too. General. I mean? Yeah. Well, it's a vice chief defense stuff. Yeah. Him. The vice. So and like, he has to be so like, John, yeah. go and tell the Queen. I'm, I'm having a poo. Person. Like, that guy. Did he actually fight in a war and stuff? Yeah. Oh, my God. A few. And was in Northern Ireland. He was overseeing the British troops at the time of the Good Friday Agreement. 
Oh, oh that's wow. really so good. We had to have we were on bar- we had the arm bodyguards and everything at that time. I was like twelve, so I had no idea what was going on. You just but thought yeah. it was the norm. Yeah, I was just like, oh, we can't go with this place that has graffiti. We'll just stay away from there. Right. Okay. But yeah, we had bomb-proof cars, bodyguards. We had that in had Dovey as well. Training. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. We had that all of that in Dovey as well, but for yeah. different reasons. You know what I mean? Was your, dad part, on the was your dad part of the Good Friday Agreement? <laughs> <laughs> it was part of the Ash Wednesday Agreement <laughs> between Dovey and Paige Moss when <laughs> they and <laughs> Kelly's wife. <laughs> Sit down with Kelly's wife. <laughs> <laughs> that was our version. Bill Clinton <laughs> was there as <laughs> Troubles. <laughs> Mo Molin doing a fucking thing. He sent Hillary for us. <laughs> 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 So interesting. I'd listen to all the stories. Do you, do you ever sit down and <coughs> listen to him just regale? To him? Yeah. Yeah, I've done some interviews with him for my social media and stuff. He's quite a secret, he's quite a reserved guy though. He doesn't like talking too openly about stuff. Is he not allowed? I feel like he's got secrets. Trade yeah, because secret. yeah, he was the head of the fucking military. You don't get fucking head of the military by rah, 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 tell you a fucking great story. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, he's, he's a pro fucking secret keeper. And he did like a Bilderberg speech once as well, which is like, that's quite, that's like, that's like, the I'm telling you right now. I went there, the I went on, the I went to the one in Hamleys. Sort of <laughs> Sorry? I went to the one in <laughs> I knew it. As soon as you said Bilderberg, I knew in his head he went, Bilderbear. I fucked you good last night, like Gil. I went to the one in Hamleys on my own to get a, a what was it? Why, why was he invited by them? Um, what we're going to do here, Adam, is uh, <coughs> build a bag. It's the big secret group. Where did he meet? Somewhere in... Oh, not build a bag. Not build a bag. They, they are there, though. They're invited because people always get them mixed up. And end up they just do that, yeah. They just, to make up all the numbers so it looks like they've got a bigger crowd, they just put loads of bags. So what's build a bag? Bilderberg. Oh, is this the fucking it's pizza the Ill- place in Washington where they all fucking sacrifice kids and that? Yes. You know, it's the Illuminati, isn't it? It's where yeah. all the big decisions are made once yeah. a year in this big mad meeting. Has he, he been to that? that? All the war, war, sorry? Has he been to that? He's spoken at it, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. Get him in. Where's he? <laughs> <laughs> That's See, I told you this pizza place existed and you've laughed at me <laughs> for three years of podcasting. Yes. Hillary Clinton eats children and he's just proved it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got from that. You spent half of that confused about Bilderbear, but now you've really worked it out. That's amazing. He spoke with that, yeah. Is yeah, he allowed to cool. speak about that? Sorry? Is he allowed to speak about Is he allowed to speak about it? I think, I can't, I remember that. I think it was, they were talking about the West's response to Trump being in power. It was something about Trump being in power at that time. So cool. I can't remember specifically, and he couldn't go into detail. That's so cool. But I assume he flew into a volcano and they were all there and like zooming around on chairs and... Yeah. Had a mass orgy at the end. That's how I see it. That's what it should have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It. And they've all got little miniature versions of themselves. Mad. <laughs> or tiny bears. Or tiny little building bears because <laughs> they little brought bears. them in. National secrets. They just record them <laughs> and put them in the little hand. That's how, that's how MI6 pass on information. They go build a bear. But there's an operative working out of Southampton. <laughs> and then they pass the bell and you just squeeze it and it goes, there's an operative. <laughs> I need hugs. The, the queen's a lizard. I knew I was right. Is she? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. He's got so much more authority than us on anything royal. Is it? But it's a huge... Is that conspiracy come from Liverpool? What conspiracy? The, the queen's, queen's a, lizard. a lizard. Well, because you guys are obsessed with lizards. Is that right? Apparently. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. a fucking They're lizard. They're obsessed with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've heard. We've, we, we, cracked, we cracked the code and we're the only ones willing to stick to the fucking truth. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. That's yeah. why Lizzie, Queen Lizzie. Exactly. Lizzie yeah. yeah. It actually makes a lot of sense when you start putting it together. It does. Lizard Miyaki. And there was that video where she took off her human skin and just crawled away for a bit and then it oh, yeah. mysteriously got taken down. Off. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. That got was on de- Daily got Motion. Oh. <laughs> got demonetized. Vimeo, you had to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Will you, so you're not involved at all with the f- anything like that anymore? Like you, don't like get, that? you don't get a chance to like be in a room with Charles, no? Um, uh, well, my dad's still a member of the House of Lords. I mean, I've never been involved in it. I'm, no, I'm no just, I mean, that could be lucky. like your family is involved in it. My dad's still a member of the House of Lords. Um, so Tom's, just, Tom's just been to his dad getting, like, knighted. He's not part of the fucking no, no, Illuminati. Saying, like, he gets chances to go to these events. because oh, right, 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 right. I was, in, I was in the same room as Prince Charles last year. This year, this year. Was he not king yet? No, it was just, no, it was just before, just before Edinburgh. So maybe the start of this year. Um, I was with you just before the funeral. Remember? Yeah, you were. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I was 
sort of week off, yes. Uh, dealing with the death of the Queen as I only could with humour. Yeah, I mean, because like it, hit, it, hit, it cut me deep, and this whole city, I, just, I deal with pain with jokes. So whole, I put on a gig on the day she died because yeah. everyone else cancelled their shows. This whole city really struggled with the grief of it, didn't it? Yeah, because we nearly ran out of alcohol. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to do the Birmingham Glee and uh, Tom was on with me and he was just a bit uh, he'd t- taken the news a bit different and he was telling me about his, his dad was upset and his dad was going to the funeral yeah yeah mm. my man dad and you also and told me that that big queue that fucking Phil and Holly fucking queue jump for and David Beckham was you know putting his fucking miles in for his night other than that yeah yeah she wasn't in that box was she yeah, it's high. <laughs> there's a definitely a conspiracy going around that Lizzie wasn't in the box. We fucking said that. How could she possibly be in that box? That's a fucking prime <laughs> target for Al Qaeda. That if she's in it, yeah, you said this at the time. <laughs> I, what are Al Qaeda gonna do? Kill her again? <laughs> Steal the body? No, she's a symbol, isn't she? Yeah. If they cause something there, she's a symbol. Dead or alive, she's still a symbol now. Steal. I mean, did people we threw their the guy in the fucking ocean. What if Hang they on. threw it in the Thames? One all. <laughs> what are Al- Don't want that, do we? <laughs> one one. <laughs> what are Al Qaeda doing with a stolen coffin? <laughs> They're not. They're gonna do something there. It'd be such a poignant thing. Like everyone's eyes were on that. If they did something there, it'd have been massive. I don't Telling me they risked. would have risked a fucking seagull or a pigeon shitting on the Queen's coffin, the actual coffin, making a mockery of the whole country and the Commonwealth. I don't think so. <laughs> and she was a lizard. Yeah. <laughs> Can't have seen yeah. shit on a coffin. And she was a lizard. I'm, I'm just telling you. Love conspiracy theories. Love there would have it. been a lot more trouble. Everyone knew. Apart from the people who queued up, it would just like our oh, nice one, Liz, for, you know, sitting down for years and that. It's nice. It's nice. Fucking Suarez. Pull one out. <laughs> Suarez queues the whole... Yeah. <laughs> but they queued up to pay their respects to her. Fair play. If that's what you want to do, I think it's a bit weird, but whatever. They should have all known that it was symbolism. There's no way they were putting air on the fucking streets of London. Where was it? Trafalgar Square or something? Yeah. It's in Leicester Square. It was where the fella... That was all the dogs. That was on. It's next to me. <laughs> he did the Queen that day. Next to break dances and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it how yeah, it Tom like, has it inadvertently like- become a representative <laughs> for the whole royal family. Tom, you speak good, right? And your dad's like a king, right? I've got some fucking questions for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a little bit like I'm just reserved and having to go, no comment at this no, time. No, honestly, <laughs> that's <laughs> <not> <laughs> really Lad, you're from a different class from us. What's that box empty? <laughs> we all know it was empty. It was definitely... Empty, it makes wasn't a it? lot of sense for it to be empty. There's not it much sense. Sense. <laughs> it being it full. makes total sense. It makes total sense. Give me the pro of it being full. You are. Give me the benefit for being in there. I just I don't uh, because it's the coffin. That's where that's where that's where she is. If she wasn't in the coffin, imagine if Abu Hamza has got his hand on that. <laughs> oh, Abu Hamza, <laughs> that would be. Do you reckon he'd queue up? <laughs> he'd be noticeable. Just sort of, <laughs> with the hook. Seven hours He's in. Constantly looking for the ticket. Should we definitely let, let him with his hook? <laughs> he could have picked the locks on the coffin and gone look <laughs> empty. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody notices us. Abu Hamza. <laughs> 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 Because everyone's fucking annoyed about Holly and Phil. Look at them cunts. <laughs> <laughs> you put two and two together there. They mm. work them for him. He's hired them. Philip Schofield's Al Qaeda. Is that where you just. <laughs> yeah, so a super injunction. Scousers crack the code again. <laughs> Nothing gets past Oi, us. Big Phil, Schofield, Abu Hamza. You do the rest. <laughs> I can't. You can. You're not thinking hard enough. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Absolutely insane. <laughs> Where are you living now? Borough Market. <laughs> <laughs> not as good as it. Not as good. No. It's not as good. It's not where not Bridget Jones. <laughs> 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 it's not as good. <laughs> they should give you parachute payments. You know when you get relegated from the Premiership. You can't go from the Tower of London to just a fucking a one Market bed studio, place. like a, a one bed. That's that's harsh. It's tough. 
Did you have people coming round? Is it like a tour? Yeah, I had tours that went through my house. So every like month, I get emails of when the tours were coming. Because when I first moved in, I would just like if I had to go to the shower, I just walked naked to the shower, and I very nearly walked in on different That's tours going round. But also the beefy had said that the tourists kept on seeing because there's always like three, four hundred tourists looking at my house. And they quite often just see a naked bloke like walking back and forth through the windows. I love that. And all the tourists kept complaining. <laughs> That's their fault for luck. I think I've seen a ghost. <laughs> a How can they complain? Really cops the a, co- really, a really <laughs> fuckable ghost. <laughs> he was being well, very sexually aggressive. What is the complaint there? <coughs> How could they possibly complain? Uh, excuse me, I'd like to lodge a complaint. Some man's got his knob out in his own house. <laughs> Right, we have been through this before. <laughs> I know that you think you're on your property and it's oh, all fine. Don't even start. If you stand, if you get on your window ledge, bollock naked, and stand there <laughs> facing the road, that's different. It's, it, he wasn't doing that. He was just pottering about, doing the dishes, having a shower with his cock out. No, Nothing wrong with it. Scraping my balls across the window. <laughs> oh, well, that's wrong, Tom, yeah, and sorry. you should know that. And you can do it in the garden. I told you, you can do anything you want in your own garden. Yeah, keep your eyes out me fucking garden. Exactly. Keep your fingers out me wife. <laughs> and, but, that old saying. <laughs> we need Are to write all, that too? We need to write them all down. And the, don't look at my garden. And <laughs> stop fingering at me wife. <laughs> Get your toes out of there as well. How was the fire? <laughs> oh, Lord. Tom, you've caught us on a really silly Christmas movie. <laughs> it's an interesting one. Yeah, yeah no, I'm enjoying. No, but we've never had somebody with your your knowledge. Yeah. And <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to get as much knowledge as possible. So yeah. starting now, getting a week's head start. Well, it depends whether or not the... I don't know if all the royal family and stuff are going to be around for much longer. What do you mean? Oh, exclusive. Do you think it's going to... Th- how long do you think? Do you think it's, is, is a, there's a time... I, I think it? as soon as Prince George starts doing TikToks... Everyone's going to go, we can't, we can't keep this going, surely. He'll have the most followers on TikTok. Oh, he'll have so many followers. But he starts doing twerking and break. It's is he two away? He's behind William, isn't he? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mad. So we could but do TikTok and then be king. I think people are... The monarchy's got to change, I think. Because people... The idea of this all sort of gifted from God and pure blood and that being in charge, I think everyone gets that that's old and archaic. I think as far as a tourist attraction and like it, it you know, the idea it creates more money than it spends, that's good. But yeah, it's, no, it's going good. fucking it's nowhere, Tom. It's yeah. going Not nowhere. Reckon. No, of Not course. Reckon. We are well past think, uh, getting rid of the royal family. All right, you think it's gonna just keep staying? Of course, of course. Yeah. Now, I think talking about ceremonial, Look it's cerem- it's totally ceremonial. Look at the funeral. That's People going are fucking that, into it. That was the Queen, no, I'm telling you now. If Charles went this year, if he, I don't know, something bad happens, ain't no prolapse, right? And he's got... Yeah. Trips over his fingers on the stairs. Exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> something bad happens, <laughs> and Charlie chokes it, right? Gone. Dead. Done. William Busted. in. Mo- more popular than Charles. 100%. But then, he gets a wasting disease, and he's gone <laughs> oh, within a year, hell. right? If George was in charge, then it becomes a laughing stock, because who the fuck is taking orders off a baby? Right. Cool. So that is how the royal family will end. Just to recap, Charles Sausage Fingers, the king, falls over his own fingers on the stairs. Then William gets a medieval wasting disease. King George is in at nine. And everyone's like, this is a fucking joke. We're not taking orders off him, even though they've had no fucking say in policy for the last 500 years. Mad that. He can't run the country. He wasn't going to. That's nah, still bullshit. Plus he's shit at footy. Um, you heard it here first. <laughs> Breaking news. They're going fucking nowhere, kid. Yeah, that funeral show me they're going nowhere. It's such a still part of this country. It was a big old show, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, it was big. I. It's it's interesting because if Charles cops it through, you know, his hands exploding, <laughs> which looks like it could happen any time now. I don't hands. think there's going to be a lot of fucking goodwill for doing that all again. I think that was a you've done seventy years. We've, she's literally the whole country's lifetime, basically. Yeah. And whether you are a fan of the royal, not a fan of the royal family, but you've got to respect the fucking, the game, aren't you? She's, she's nailed it. Yeah. She she's run, that, she's yeah. run the gaff and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. If he cops sure. it in five years, everyone's going to be like, oh, God, fuck off. Not again. I'm, I'm going to have him in me dead pill, you know. Really? Yeah. 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 Exploding hands. 
Without me, my dad I'm, they're year. not going anywhere, this but year. I swear, I, I just don't think the country's going to want to do that no. level of fanfare again. Like, he's properly getting a fucking... I don't think he'd want it either. I okay. think he'd just want a little quiet one. He might elope. If they do do it, they'll do it. They'll do it really shoddily, like a <laughs> loaf before he does, like a dog. What? Just goes in the garden. What? I just need it. I need all the information. He might elope for his funeral. Yeah. <laughs> just goes to Vegas and do it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gretna. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh God. Should I have a break. Yeah. Break. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for representing. Right. Thanks for representing all of the aristocracy. It's fine. <laughs> Really appreciate <laughs> it. Got me now. Here we are. Here we are. Final section with Tom Horton. Great. The Honourable Tom Horton. And we've had to turn the Christmas lights off, which are about to be taken down because this is the final Christmas episode because they have been fucking with the, the mics a little bit. So apologies if you heard a tiny buzzing, but I can't be doing with it anymore in my headphones. So all the Christmas lights, I'm not being mean. I'm well into Christmas. I'm wearing an Ann Summers Santa hat. I'm oh. feeling... Festive as fuck, but I can't be doing with the buzzing in my ears. So you're gonna take them down? They're off. Yeah. They're off. I gotta go down. Looking forward to Christmas. Are you a Christmassy person, Tom? I'm reasonably Christmassy. Yeah. My sisters now had uh, two my nephews, and kids make Christmas better. Loads more fun. Much more fun. Yeah. I guess with stage was just you and your parents. You're still doing the sort of you'd much rather be at the pub. Stockings yeah. in on the, do you all open stockings on your parents' bed? I did when I was a kid. Oh, I did when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We did, we've done that. We, we, we still do that. Even when my sister was married, her husband would come and join us on the bed and everything freaks him out. Wow. That is a tradition that probably has to end in and around puberty, doesn't it? Like, yeah, it should do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really went, Everyone in. How old are you? How old am I? 38. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I haven't had a tough life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm three years older than me. Look at the fucking state of me. Don't do drugs, kid. It, you do not kid. look 38. No, I'm just speaking to one kid. <laughs> Listen, a lot of people say don't do drugs, kids. I just say kid. Whoever I'm talking to, you know, thinking about doing drugs at eight. Uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, too. And you've not been doing many Christmas gigs. You said you've dodged them. No, I've dodged them. Uh, very happy. I did, yeah. I, I honestly don't think I've done it. I didn't take any Christmas uh, lights up in my flat down in London. What? No. You're Why? not very Christmassy. You're not I guess Christmassy. I'm not. I never thought of myself as not Christmassy. I guess now that you've asked oh, me. Oh, he's an absolute jingle bell, this one. Are you probably... I watched um, this new Scrooge film on Netflix. That was quite good. It's all right. The one, the, the one, one, one the banging Christmas. song in the middle. Yeah. Really good song there. Muppets Christmas Carol, my top three song, uh, films. I went to see it yesterday at the Backyard Cinema Club in uh, oh, nice. Manchester. They did a pop, it used to be in Camden. It's like a pop-up cinema yeah, yeah. thing. And they've built it on an old railway station, Mailfield Railway Station. Mm -hmm. And they've redone it. And there's like an immersive sort of experience as you go in. You go into like a Dr. Portillo's Emporium Ooh. or something. And then an yeah. actor comes out, makes you cringe Very in your soul. But Etta absolutely loved it. My daughter fucking loved it. And then you go through like a maze and then you come out into this massive, beautiful cinema where every, like, like massive bean bags. It's really Why good. do you keep taking it to the things that you know I'd like? That, honestly, apart from, you'd have hated the actor that came out. When, hello, everybody. He might as well have come out and gone, hey, I'm a pedophile. <laughs> keep your children close. I'll fucking steal them. And then he made <laughs> eye contact with me. And went, oh. I was like, oh, I got I can't look at you. But you just look at her, so she's like loving it. He might watch this. Great. That is a man doing his best, and you've just ruined his Christmas. I know, but then he needs to, Dr. Patillo <laughs> needs to be a less noncy character. Yeah. Literally came out dressed as fucking Doctor Who. <laughs> Stealing children. I would think that. I'd have appreciated the effort he's put in. Yep. I was a man trying his best, and anyone trying his best is good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, in terms of football, that's not true, is it? Um, no, that'd them. be the best play for Liverpool. Would you uh, would you ever become a father Christmas as you got older? You what? <laughs> <laughs> like the people who work in the grottoes and that. Oh, uh, as you got older, obviously. Is that still happening? If yeah. Jack's like yeah. you know Jack, your son. Do you know him? No, you're Jack. <laughs> no, you're Jack. Yeah, no, you're Jack. I don't want your Jack on my lap, lad. That's what I want for Christmas. If his uh, is he in school yet? Nursery. <laughs> he, he's not in school yet. He is 18 months old. No, he can't be. How Sh fucking old so he's is my a bit kid? Slow. Okay. He's like 20 so, months old. Yeah, he is slow. <laughs> he's not been moved up to primary school. He should be you in know, year three by now. Because he can't talk. Right. He's getting there. 
He's trying to talk to Alexa. That's interesting. Hexa! Hexa! <laughs> row, 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 row. <laughs> he tries to say, Alexa, play row, row, row your boat, but it just looks like a hate crime while it's happening. Knows who his uncle is. Row, 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 row. What? Knows who his uncle is. Oh. Row, 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 row. Let's hope you're his uncle. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> um, if when he's in reception, say, so right. how many years away is that? Like three, three years away? Four, yeah. Right. No, three. Yeah, you're right. Um, if they say, look, Dan, we want you to be Father Christmas for the kids. Will you just come in on Friday next week and do mm. Christmas with all the kids Yeah, and give the presents out? Would you do it? I, I'm telling you now, if things go wrong podcasting-wise and uh, it doesn't look like my dad is going to be asked to be the constable of the tower, you know? Um, <laughs> I will think about he's being... He's fourth favourite at the minute, isn't he? He's, four, he's top five. They're running. I mean, a lot of people say, you know. He lives Picked in a, by Bradley Welsh. He lives in a village <laughs> in Lancashire and he crown green bowls obnoxiously amounts. My dad turned it down. Obnoxiously amounts? A lot. He plays crown. I don't think he's in I don't think he's in the running. My dad turned it down. Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said no. Let Nicky have it. Yeah. Let Big Nicky. And my dad says to say thank you, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'd do a Chester grotto. I'm not doing a Liverpool grotto. Why? Because I'm scared of the kids. There's places I'm not going to be a, a, a Santa Claus. Glasgow, some bits of Manchester, Liverpool. Nah, actually Dublin. I'm not mm-hmm. Belfast. Anywhere that the kids are scary, I'm I'm sound. I'm not, I don't want to be a Santa. We just want a Santa. I just want to fucking you know a little Kawasaki there. Fucks me off there. Fella. Yeah, yeah. I want me mad and dad to get back together again. <laughs> Can you box that for me, Dad? Lad, lad. There's a fucking list. I want everything on that fucking list. An ice cream pedo, full fucking volume. <laughs> Make it fucking happen. It's all I'll be like, well, like- I'll put you on the naughty list. I'll put you on the sex offenders <laughs> register. <laughs> what about that, Santa? Better get yourself a fucking another mountain bike. Yeah. It's all written in cut out newspaper letters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, thanks. I'll just take fucking Sorgle kids like. Alexa! Um, what was the question? You asked her. Oh, right, nice one. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, Matt Palm says, I was walking out of the live show when I saw Brendan Reese coming out of the same exit. I was a f- we just did the arena, Tom. I yes, don't know. If, I saw. I don't know if anyone in London heard about it because uh, the Guardian didn't. <laughs> well, it was. It wasn't Could really, you speak for it, all of the London press? Please, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the representative. Uh, yeah, it wasn't good enough to be in the top ten of the Guardian best shows. I'm afraid. Thank there you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Some comedians who you won't have heard of who did better shows. Oh, sorry. M- much better. And that's just how how it is, guys. Um. Uh, he says, yeah, I was Sorry. walking out of the arena show, saw Brendan Reese coming out the same exit. I was a few beers deep. So I walked straight up to him and said, hi, Neil. In my drunken state, I had mixed Neil Brennan's name with Reese, with Brennan Reese. He's actually put Reese Brennan. Jesus Christ. Question is, have you ever embarrassed yourself when meeting someone you've admired or ha- um, has a fan ever said something to you that you know they instantly regret? That's from Matt Palmer. Have you ever had any encounters with a famous person, sport, comedy? Well, so I can actually, I can tell you, I haven't had many, but I've got, I've got a really good dad story in the, that happened in the Royal Box of Wimbledon. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I asked this. I've Go got on. one of them as well after him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So first. my dad is sat next to this, uh, this is a guy uh, who, I'll just straight away say, it's Samuel Jackson. What? Uh, yeah. <gasps> and they're in the Royal Box and they're sat next. Your dad? Yeah, next to each other. Oh, carry on. And my dad's not Samuel Jackson. <laughs> See the picture of him? Now, <laughs> that would be a twist. Sorry, your dad's a builder bear. <laughs> Go on, tell you And you know, the most recognised actor in the world, right? One of them, yeah, definitely. Probably. And they're doing the whole thing, they're having a small talk, and then at the end, so my dad goes, so, uh, what would you say your name was? He goes, oh, it's Sam. He's like, all right, all right. And so Sam, um, so, so what do you do? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I, I'm in movie. I'm in the movie business. He said, "All right, uh, so would you sell them, direct them? <laughs> what, what, what was it?" <laughs> and he goes, "No, no, I star in them." My dad goes, "Really? Is there anything I'd have seen?" And Samuel J- Jackson just looks at him and goes, "Probably not." <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I reckon your dad might have seen Fifty First State, Samuel L. Jackson's. <laughs> Finest hour. Yeah, I, it is. <laughs> it's it's held up as his finest role. It is, yeah. The one that he, he won the Oscar for that, didn't he? Yeah. Well, yeah, the yeah, yeah. He was in the showcase on the East <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had I've had one of our fans insult me 
Um, I've one. got another Wimbledon story, but come. All right. Um, I was just walking through. I was walking down Bold Street, and someone stopped me, and they went, "Oh, Finn, I love the podcast. Your music shit though." And then they just went on with their day. <laughs> I apologise for that. <laughs> you have a baby. Um, my dad was the one who told Cliff Richards to start singing when it was raining. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> well, that's actually true. Uh, uh, it's true. Your dad was in the air shot of Cliff Richard at Wimbledon. My dad, get the video. My dad is sat next to Cliff Richard. In the Royal Box. And he went, come on, give us a song while it's raining. Mm-hmm. He's not in the Royal Box. Cliff Richard. He was just at Wimbledon. My dad. What are you doing, Carl? Like, <laughs> I'm starting to not believe this. <laughs> get the video up. Imagine if you did. You would have get the video up. Can you get the video up? Please right. don't get the video. Yeah, to, no, yeah, I believe like him. Uh, should we do the question? <laughs> he, get just, the video? he just wants you to get the video up. I know, and I want to get it up. I know he's lying, and I still want to get the video up. Just leave it. <laughs> <It's hard. laughs> You'll never know. I'll, ne- I'll never be able to search. Uh, Chris Aldi That's says, true. Hello, when Bin Laden was killed, <laughs> the Navy SEALs took his hard drives and all of his media to review including the absolute treasure trove of Al-Qaeda intelligence. There was some Western media that he had downloaded, ranging from Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs to extensive amounts of hardcore pornography. My question, if the Navy SEALs that have been sent to kill you finally catch up to kill you uh, tomorrow, what's the one item on your hard drive you would delete before they put a bullet in your head? Nice one, go on. That's from Chris Alty. I love the fact that um, they found Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs on... The thing is, he was a bad guy, and I don't agree with everything he did. But he's still going to, like, you know, he's not going to have the worst taste in films just because he's a fucking lunatic, is he? <laughs> Ice Age is a great film. I bet you he had Die Hard on there as well. <laughs> yeah, there was them boxes with 40 films on. Did you just watch them on repeat? I bet you he had a fire stick. Yeah, a dodgy one. Yeah. I'll an t- Arsenal fan, weren't he? Right, yeah, he yeah. He was killed in his Arsenal top. <laughs> he said, Betty me in this <laughs> before he died. <laughs> There's an Ersel on the back. <laughs> He was he was shot in his arsenal top. What? Sorry. Pull up the Osama video. Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Pull up the video. <laughs> Pull up the video. <laughs> Osama bin Laden, when he was found, he was was, had arsenal his top. arsenal top on. He was watching Premier League years. The Invincibles. <laughs> Fucking over Mars. <laughs> ah, me eye. That's what he said. <laughs> he had his arsenal top on. He had a full kit on. No, he just had the top on. Away. No, he didn't, Finn. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just trying to find a picture of him in an arsenal kit. You won't find one? At the funeral. There it is. is. Oh, there it is. is. That's real. Moments. Moments. He just scored in the garden. He ran in to get a drink and the Navy <laughs> seals. <you know. laughs> with his with his finest Gilberto Silva. <laughs> there he is. Oh, didn't you see him? He's outside <laughs> fucking yeah, but it's there. That's where he got shot. <laughs> He's trying to sell tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit That's when he scored against Spurs and took his top off There is a worrying amount of Osama Bin Laden in his Arsenal top um, So is it known that he's an Arsenal supporter? Is that yeah, he's a well, genuinely an Arsenal fan yeah. God knows why He didn't have the internet, did he? Yeah, did well, to death to the West Apart from Not West London West London, yeah In North London I know I swing and a miss though It was close enough <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, uh, he was. He was when he was found. He had his Arsenal top on. I'm not even actually messing. I think I, I'm not. This is maybe because I've got no shame, but I don't have anything on hard drives. No, really. No, I've just got. I just don't have anything in. Maybe there's nothing that. No. I just look at it straight I from the internet. Delete hot. Delete last hour. Exactly. It all. He doesn't do that. Is, there, any, is you know? there anything that no. you couldn't Why? explain though? Like yeah, lose weird. the receipts. Is, is, anything, it, is there anything weird? Like, you'd just be like, why have you got that? Like, just a There's a girl who I started, like, sort of following on Instagram, I think, back in, like, 2014. Um, and I've got screenshots of her boyfriend who I've hated ever since. But apart from that, there's nothing there. A screenshot of a, of a boyfriend? Yeah, because I don't like him. Because I fancied oh, it all the time. And I'm, I'm waiting for them to break up. Do you know what I mean? Are they or, nude or, like, for him, him to die or whatever. On your hard drive? No, just on your phone. On my cloud. It's an angry cloud. Mm. Just yeah. so I can keep a, an update of what he looks like in case I ever bump into him and I need to have a word. Oh, I thought you meant you had like nudes of him. Oh. I thought you had like scantily dressed no, pictures. Just a, of a slow documentation of his sc- deteriorating face. What do they call it? A dream board? Vision board. A vision board, that's yeah. it. Adams is just all blokes. <laughs> You're fucking air. 
You're fucking her. I'd rather fuck her. Angry dream board. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. I don't like. Delete wouldn't like people to find that or know about her. Is there anything in your house that you'd want to get rid of if you knew the Navy SEALs were coming to, you know, and you know things? My dad. You've been on this podcast and you should know better. My my dad's promised me that when he dies, he, he'll he give me the letters him and Tony Blair exchanged while in power. That's quite cool. My dad's promised me when he dies, I'm going to get the letters him and Gordon <laughs> Brown exchanged. So, yeah, similar. <coughs> my um, My dad says that when he dies, he's going to... He's going to give me the letters that Gladstone gave him because I'm old. I don't know where my dad is. Oh, dear. Um, my dad can't write. So him and Tony Blair were chatting about... In English. <coughs> the war. The war? Oh, of course, yeah. The illegal war? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's not start. Well, let's see. not get political. Just check him. <laughs> Just check him. Could have been like Money making conversation. Yeah, could have been the cost of a war. <laughs> Or all fair and above board with Kosovo. If I knew the Navy SEALs were coming, I'd sort of, I'd give them intelligence that like, like if there was a room that I wanted clearing out, you know, if I'd got like a bit behind and like there was a room that was a bit messy and stuff, yeah. I'd just be like, oh, it's all hidden in there. Go on, go, go nuts. And then they'd clear it out and take all the stuff, wouldn't they? Yeah. And then they find nothing. I'd be like, you can keep the stuff though. Nice and tidy in here now. Yeah. <laughs> clean Stupid you Navy SEALs. And then they shoot you in the head. What? Yeah. No, Why? Well, I'm done it. Well, that. that's the thing, isn't it? They're coming to shoot you. They're not coming to reorganise your spare room. <laughs> <laughs> if the Navy SEALs are coming to shoot you, what would you get them to do? Yeah, just, you know, take that to the tip. <laughs> Put that in the attic. Stupid SEALs. <laughs> not even SEALs. And they're like, yeah, yeah, of course, come in. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in my house to that either. The dog is going to shoot him. I don't know. <laughs> you made that so bleak. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, so I don't. Th I don't think they've. Use your dog as a human shield. Oh <laughs> no, the cat. <coughs> What's the next question? We're Bob? doing have a word. It's time to have a word with Adam Stop mur murdering the jingles. Stop murdering the jingles. This is gonna be the whole podcast. Now it's just the final ten percent. You're murdering these jingles. Thank you. Some of his greatest work. Thank you. Um, I mean that one wasn't. Uh, Christopher Tremaine says, Hi, Lids, can you have a word with my wife or me? Probably not me. For the last five years, I've wanted to flip a coin at bedtime to see which side of the bed I sleep on that night. She's having none of it. Can you tell her she's being ridiculous, please? No, you're what? being a no, fucking he's being, fuck he's, psychopath. He's being ridiculous. Oh, my. You're a psychopath? You've got your side. You'd have your Stick side of the side. bed, and it depends on how close you are to a C. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was just the man goes by the door. Yeah, why that? As you there, it's from friends, isn't it? Like, oh. and, I, and it stuck with me. So I sleep on the right side, so that the Irish Sea is here, and the rest of the land slash bed is there. Right, <laughs> because that's where Liverpool is. Yeah, you always sleep with Liverpool to the left. No, I yeah. am Liverpool. <laughs> this is a hey, clip it out. <laughs> clip it out. I want it on the soundboard. <laughs> I want it. I want to isolate that and I need it on the fin. I want smooth and then that. I am Liverpool. I am Liverpool. The fucking Everton fan. Yeah, the Irish is easy, yeah. And then like fucking St. Helens and beyond is over there. Yeah. And that's how everyone does it. Well, that that's what it, that's what Richard did in Friends and I've sort of, you know, lived by everything he was about ever since. Just the man, just go near the door. The man is meant to be near the door in case there's any burglars. In case, in case the Navy SEALs come in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm just saying it's better to be on the left-hand side so that if you're masturbating using lube, you can use your left hand that hasn't got any lube on to get stuff off I'm the sideboard. I'm a masturbator. Oh. Mm. Yeah, well, if you're normal, that's good techers. So I sleep in a double bed because me and my wife sleep in separate rooms. Everything's fine. She's just an angry sleeper. Um, <laughs> and I naturally <laughs> sleep on one side of the bed. I don't spread out. I switch. I naturally, yeah. like I, I find I, myself. I do I, the same. Yeah, I've got a, like it's weird. Duvet. If I'm hungover, I sleep upside down. <laughs> like you had the other end of the bed. I'm in yeah, I have me, me head at the foot of the bed and me feet the like head against the, the headboard if I'm hungover. I don't know why, but it helps me sleep. You, have your feet, you don't have your feet on the pillows. No, I have me pillows with me. All right, I'm cool. not a fucking lunatic. There is that time when you're like <laughs> trying to get to sleep. I am Liverpool. So many times that you then eventually do just swap. 
Yeah, because yeah. it works. A change yeah. of environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. There's no other options, so I'm just back the other oh, way. Oh, shout out. On a, on a summer's night when it's getting clammy, yeah. Yeah. oh, it's so good to be like, I'm too hot. And you just move over and you're like, oh, cool side. Yeah. Yeah. Or to or rotate. So you fit up. Yeah. Pillows on the other side. Whenever I, whenever no I, does that. It's a whenever I get a house that I'm happy oh, to stay no, in, no, no, for no, sort I do of that. Like yeah, I do too. Me forever home. Yeah, yeah. You take the pillows with you. You don't and then just yeah. A switch of down. position helps pillow. you sleep. Like a switch of environment helps you sleep. Yeah. Mm. Oof. Wow. You. I'm learning things today. I only ever need that really when I'm hungover. If I'm hungover, and you, you know, when you wake up hungover and your body's like, you're not going back a okay? If you just flip and put your head down the foot of the bed, it's it's like you're a new woman. I've sometimes on a hangover known that I need to sleep more, but getting up and getting on the couch to watch something helps me that's, then that, have yeah. a kit. That, that is... Same theory. The, the getting on the couch is the same as just getting down the other Change end of the bed. the environment. Yep. Oh, it's fucking awful when you can't sleep. Sleeping down the other end of the bed, honestly, mate. It feels naughty. Because <laughs> the pillows yeah. fall off. <laughs> you have to keep picking them up. Who am I? It's, I can't recommend it enough. The soft headboard on your on your feet. <coughs> Having your feet against the thing just helps as well. I don't know why. Who has a headboard anymore? That's how they did, isn't it? I do. I do. I do. A soft one? Yep. Yeah. Oh, not a soft one, a no, wooden one. Yeah, Mine's a, a teal oh, yeah, velour yeah. one. Mine's a yellow velour one. Absolute shaggers. Yeah. Mine's oak. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it's not teak or mahogany. Um... um so, Christopher Tremaine, we're absolutely coming down the side of your wife. <laughs> <laughs> what side, Tom? Is that right? Tom, what side? Oh, she decides. Yeah, it's, it's, 20, a coin. it's 2022. Yeah, everyone should have a side of the bed. And even if, uh, like, I've been in relationships before where the, the girl has negotiated with me being like, no, that's my side of the bed. And that's fine. But then I just permanently switch my side of the bed forever or the duration of that relationship. I think you should have a fight for... Your side of the bed. I think you should both each get a chicken. I think you make the chickens fight. And whoever's chicken wins gets the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cockfighting just yeah. before bed. <laughs> it helps you sleep. <laughs> like, I'm revved up from the cockfight. You better tickle my balls. <laughs> I'm going to be up for hours. Finley Purcell. How are we saying that? That's a nancy name, That's isn't same. it? Finley Purcell or Purcell? Purcell, isn't it? Finley Purcell. Finley Purcell. Like parcel, but with a U. Jared Leto, Jared Leto. Leto. Thank you. Can you have a word with my bird? Okay, uh, someone else is wrong. Can you have a word with my bird? <laughs> she saw a TikTok saying that men love when their birds nick their food and pretend to hate it. Since this, she thinks it's fine to take my food and use the excuse, you love it really. Am I being dramatic when I say I feel like chinning her every time or is she being a dickhead? <laughs> I, I'll be honest. I, I, I don't justify the chinning of women in, under any circumstances. Can I just say, I say that. can I just say, I skim read that. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, oh, it's about food. It'll boot off. I didn't realise he's like, yeah, if she takes another French fry, I'm going to knock her clean out. <laughs> I'm on his side, just not with his um, retaliation. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm, I'm very, it goes back to friends as well. It's <laughs> Joey. You can order whatever you want. If I take you on a date, Dan, the more the many get. Order whatever you like, you can have whatever you want. If you touch. He is like that on a date. He's so kind. If you touch one of my oysters without saying please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you, you hate? I, I'll, I know what's going to happen. Yeah. Do you, just, you hate tapas then? No. I can't imagine you're a tapas no. fan. Well, I, I, no, I like tapas, but the yeah. rules of tapas are clearly stated at the start of. Like we all know what yeah. we're doing at tapas. Yeah. Yes. It's a shady thing, but if I get a fucking a steak with chips and onion, ring, that's what I've ordered. That's what yeah. I want. You can ask. Sound absolutely. Do you want, Oh, can I can I try to be safe? Of course you can be. Yeah, no worries. If you just reach over and cut a bit off my steak or have a chip or an onion ring, get get Tinder and then bumble back down load a girl because you are on your own. That's one of get the advantages. One of the advantages to eating at forty one years forty one years old like a fucking child. No one wants to steal a bird's eye chicken dipper. Oh, you know? I would. Are oh, you do, do you? Oh, I'm pathetic. Like potato smileys. Yeah. Oh, talk to me. Okay. <laughs> um. What's your uh, what's your ruling on this, Tom? You were I, no, I I think I sort of agree with Adam. I think you have your meal. They're free to ask, but if you say no, no, and I am not an advocate for the violence against women. No, no, but I to think, be I fair, we should, to, all, to, we should be, all be very clear on that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh God. As a rep, Hero. as a representative of the South and the aristocracy. Okay, cool. We are all in agreement. However, don't what chin if, women. What if I'm just playing devil's advocate? She takes the whole steak. Off your plate, 
licks it, slaps it on at each tip, and then goes, what? And puts it on her plate. Quick. No? Don't oh. punch Oh, no. Okay. No, it's just a. Oh. Oh, she got a tits out? Just on the top half. Uh, uh, no, it's. He just say he's saying he's. You know, I don't think he's actually chinder. Just to say, hyperbole. It's a little bit of hyperbole. Yeah. Um, Best thing to do, by the way, is just make sure we you hope. But like, get what what she's getting. Just go. Yeah, I'll get to what I'm getting. Bam. Can I just say, yeah. even for pasta, lads, even for pasta. Not if she just goes, oh, just have a little bit of that pasta. No, if she asks, uh, yeah. If you ask and you say, yeah, that's fine. Then yeah, but I if she does, if she goes, oh, I'll get a water and then eat your fucking quesadillas. No, <laughs> pasta I think is better than steak. Though there's something about different foods have different levels to this. Surely, oh, reaching a, a over, steak, and slicing a bit. Of that that's almost deliberately quite in your face. And it, then yeah. you what? Just kick her? No, roundhouse kick, <laughs> headlock, headlock, nuggie. Chinese bird. Give her a nuggie. Hard, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly yeah. Class face, probably. Just flick her right on the labia. Yeah? Is yeah. <laughs> she naked? <laughs> Just got a big labia. Finley Purcell, thank you for that. And good luck, Mrs. Purcell. And if you need anyone, reach out. Roy Fitzgerald says... <laughs> Roy. <laughs> Roy Fitzgerald Roy, Fitz Fitz Roy, Fitz Roy Fitzgerald says, Hi, lads, I'm 82 and I've just <laughs> worked out how to use the internet. Roy Fitzgerald says, Hi lads, could you have a word with my dad? Earlier this year, I received a random DM on, DM on Instagram from an obviously fake spam account who sent me a picture of my dad completely start bollock naked, head to toe with a hard on mirror selfie. When I confronted him about it, <laughs> why? When I confronted him about it, he decided to straight deny it and claim his pho phone's photo album was hacked instead of just owning up that he's, uh, he's, uh, he's been caught out being a wrong one. Love the pod. That's from Roy Fitzgerald. He's received a full-on naked dad with the, a stonker on. Is the dad, is the dad, then, tr is the dad then trying to sort of say that the actual taking the photo was not his responsibility either? No, he's saying the photo's real. Right, yeah. But okay. I didn't send it to this I account. thought the dad was saying his phone's been hacked and someone's then Someone been taking the picture. Someone took a picture. photo of me oh, when we got out someone's the mirror. hiding in the mirror. No, no, that's Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his dad sent the picture on a Bernard account. Oh. Right. And to and to to what end? Because he doesn't like his son. He wants the relationship to break down. It's an easy way of getting it done. Is everything all right at home? <laughs> I'm not. It's not a wild day today. You, you know. I'm a bit worried about Carl. No. What? So is <laughs> the fake account? <laughs> is as, have they set his dad up? I think uh, his dad's. Um, Say everyone knows, say it's a small town or something, everyone knows everyone, you know. I feel like this isn't big city stuff. I feel like this is like, I tell you what fucking old Barry Fitzgerald's done. It's obvious what's happened. He's sent that to a woman. He's gone, I'll leave me wife. It's gone in a WhatsApp group. Yeah, he hasn't left, no. He hasn't left his wife. He's just gone, fuck it, I'm going to ruin his life. I'm going to set up a fake Instagram account and send it to his son. I cannot believe, right. Roy, that you confronted your dad. I can see that. I can't believe someone called Roy's still got an alive dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roy. Maybe that's how he found out. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know what to do with this, Roy. But, uh, uh, you know, the fact that you can... What I would say is, no matter how old your dad is, if he's single, which he might be for all we know, and it's consensual, I think he should be able to send as many mirror cock pictures as he likes. As long as women are asking for them. And some women do like them. You should always ask first or wait for them to ask. But if a woman says to you, send me a picture of you, stark bollock naked, but you cock out in the mirror, oblige. Because some of them, keen. Really? It's been a very progressive episode, this one, hasn't it? We're just trying to be inclusive. Don't, I round think, house, I think, don't roundhouse kick him and ask before you send your knob in the fucking... I think you should wait to be asked. Don't ask. I think asking, can I send you a picture of my knob is a bit... That, even that's a bit too weird for me. No, you have to... Just wait until the... If the girl says, can I send... Like, no, Tom, you take a risk. You take yeah. a risk. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't know I mean, if you do. Women love surprises. That's a fact. Do they? <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. I'm sure. Wow. I just send it to a random woman. In my Sometimes I take a, a naked, hard-on selfie and just think, who am I going to surprise today? Yeah. Pow. The Pow babysitter. Pow. What? You know? Sometimes. On a date. And we got a discount. On a date. If a so girl just takes a bit of your pasta. Send unsolicited dick pics. Yeah. So you are breaking the law there, sir. You're supposed to ask them first. Hiya, love. Well done on babysitting again. Cracking job. Would you like to see my fucking stonk on? <laughs> yeah. And what are you doing Saturday? Me and Laura fancy going out for tea. 
Uh, just a little caveat. Uh, our babysitter, Jasmine, actually listens to the podcast and that wasn't about her in my head. Hi, Jasmine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jasmine, <laughs> if you want a picture of my cock, let me know. Signed? Shots? What a side cock or a side picture? <laughs> <laughs> Get all of us. <laughs> <laughs> cock so big. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's call it a pod. Tom Horton, where can we find you? Uh, online. I'm at Honourable Tom. And I'm <laughs> Have you, are you at Honourable Tom? Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Love it. Why not? Own it. Um, we own everything else. And then... <laughs> uh, and then I'm on tour. Nice one. Starting in January. And I'm coming to Liverpool and Salford. Oh, amazing. Doing the Lowry. Doing the Lowry and, and doing hot water. Oh, I've heard of it. Yeah. Uh, website for tickets? <laughs> website honorabletom.com. <laughs> <laughs> really leaning into it. Um, I'm doing some work in progresses, but I think they're all sold out, so don't worry about it. Yeah, and there's some tickets left for London, isn't there? Uh, there's also uh, I think some random tickets left. Oh, yeah. So if you go onto the <laughs> ticket website for London for the tickets for the Have a Word stand up show at the Hackney Empire, the only tickets left in more than singles are in the gallery. So click gallery. It looks like it doesn't have any tickets, but it does. They're in the gallery. So click gallery. And it's unreserved seating in the gallery. So you just book a gallery ticket when you turn up. First come, first served on the seats in that section. If you haven't got plans for January, you want to fa fancy watching some comedy, I've got my comedy club in Chester, the Comedians Club Chester. Saturday the 14th of January, Mick Ferry, Bobby Mayer, and Hayley Ellis with me comparing. It's going to be a really good night. Vote, have a word, .com to vote for us at the Channel oh, yeah. Awards. Um, just go to votehaveaware.com. We've been nominated for Best Podcast in the British Comedy Awards. Um, they uh, would really like us to not win, and we'd really like to win. Oh, please. It's on Channel 4, and... I want Carl to be on Channel 4. Oh, uh, you need to see me on Channel 4. And we are taking flares if yeah. we get invited to the actual event. No, Channel 4 got in touch and said there's going to no, be sniff, sniffer dog for flares. No, they haven't. They haven't. Yeah, I got the email. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Uh, just, so what you're saying is just hearsay. I'm taking flares. <laughs> hearsay are going to be there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Pure <Purity. laughs> hey! I'll be there for you. Tom, thanks, mate. Thank you for having me. Song. I'm going to go. Guys. Oh, yeah. You, oh, have you got a song? Music. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the YouTube, but on the audio. We've we got love this a. Bit. Uh, this is everyone's favourite bit. Oh, yeah. I, I listen, every, I, I listen to the whole podcast every yeah. week, all the way through. Yeah. With muted until I know there's three minutes left. <laughs> good. If you're, put this if song you're, on. Uh, it's always dead good. If you're a band or an artist and you'd like, and we will literally play all sorts. We used to do. Do you remember when we went? We play shit ones. Well. Yeah. Send them in. Do you remember when we had Irish hip hop? Yeah. Fucking quality. We will play any old shite. <laughs> so get it in <laughs> soon. What's Finley. the email? Finley at have a word network. Finley at have a word network dot com. And uh, I'm not, I'm I'm not even talking about Dublin hip hop. I want to hear hip hop from Kilkenny, Limerick. Go all the way. We don't want any limericks. Right, right. Well, this songs only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this one's well, probably shit. <laughs> yeah, <let's see. laughs> it has to be a song. Poems are shite. <laughs> this week's an artist called. Yo, 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 yo. Us, uh, the once was a man so. from Nantucket. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Let yo, me yo, yo, hear yo. me fucking spit. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing the rap. Good go. Right. Roses are red, <laughs> violets are blue. Fuck off, you. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> yes, Finn. Is it an Irish hip hop star? It fucking better be. <laughs> it's not. Surprisingly, it's a it's a guy from Liverpool. This guy is called Guy. It's, it's called Guy. Uh, I know him. Is that his guy makes music? This tune's called Local Zero. Local Zero. I, I reckon it, I know where that one's going. He should have got. He should have called it local hero. No, but it's about a guy who isn't a hero. Oh, he's a pop girl zero. Has he got an Irish hip hop breakdown in the middle of it? Yo, he's a guy. He's a <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to cook a roast dinner for six people. You're full getting right, including Roy. Finn, who's veggie. He's you having know. spuds. He's having spuds as loads of fun with beef dripping. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> this part is done. 